Okay, um, I think we're online again. Hello. Uh, is this working? <laughs> I can never tell for sure. Um, but yeah, we are back, I think, this time for chapter four of Triangle Strategy. So far, I'm really enjoying this game, and I've been told uh, <laughs> that apparently things get pretty bad at, what, chapter five? And by bad, I mean good, because we are definitely um, a fan of torturing our characters here. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's get started. I now have enough save files that I actually need to pay attention to which one I'm supposed to be loading into. Um, pretty sure I was right here, so let's go. <laughs> Ooh, I hate how it asks you every time if you want to delete quick save data. <sighs> I can never be sure I'm not deleting something important. Oh man, that reminds me of what happened to my Fire Emblem He's Awakening save file. When I was young, I was trying to play, complete. I'd finished everything Sarah you could Della do in the normal mode, the and I started uh, playing Lunatic, and I was like, ah, oh, this will be fun, this will be great. I accidentally saved my brand new Lunatic save file over my normal mode finish save, and it was terrible. It was the worst thing I'd ever done. I just sat there, frozen, for an entire few minutes as I waited um, for the news Safe to sink into my own brain that I had done that. <laughs> that's Ever since then, I've been super cautious about save files. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're returning to Glenbrook. That's pretty cool. Alas, there is no time for rest in House Walford, as Serenoa soon finds himself swept up in preparations for his wedding to Frederica. Fair. One can assume that it would be quite a... Again, meanwhile, quite a task over the blasting of a new a tunnel at the Grand Norzellian Mines. Ah, it's the dynamite guy. I like him. I hope he's recruitable. I hope he comes with dynamite skills. <laughs> Whatever that is. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Gotta love a good explosion. That should be the end of that bodice of bedrock. What in the name of iron? <laughs> what is it? Do we require more explosives? I like how they swear by their favorite no, uh, metal, metallic mineral, you best come metal, see for whatever. Yourself. <laughs> It is the, uh, continent of salt and iron. What the... It couldn't be. What is it? Have they... Have they awoken the Balrog? <laughs> That's what happens when you dig too deep. That's what they keep telling you. Oh, what? Come on, we don't get an answer. That settles oh, the what? Wedding program, okay, then. all right. I'm sure we will by, we uh... Still must I don't know, the end of the story, dress, at least, hopefully. However. Not we, Benedict. Surely the lady herself must decide. Look at that, democracy in action. What do you desire, Frederica? <laughs> I... well... Hadn't you mentioned wanting to dress in the Rosellen custom for the ceremony? Ooh, dressing in the dress of your disadvantaged people, that's, that's pretty cool. Then you best ask the Roselle about that. There's a Roselle oh, okay. here in the domain. I'm sure so the Roselle are not looked down but... upon in Glenbrook. Hmm. But what of the other nations in attendance? Oh. Lord Seymour? Is it true that you assisted the Rizal who fled oh, Heisen okay. during the war, and that you then granted them asylum here? Aye, that is how the Rizal came to live within our domain. It was a source of great tension, but in the end, Lord Simon's perseverance prevailed, and a group of Rizal found new homes here. That's quite nice, actually. To this so far, day, we haven't Holy really State seen any bad sides of Glenbrook. Citing their goddess's teachings as justification. The roots of right, the conflict fair. run deep. I can see why that would make them mad. Although, Nevertheless, 
It is our duty to protect those who we yep, have sworn they've got that to right take under our wing. Should you choose to dress in the Rosellan custom, we shall stand behind you every step of the way. Oh, that's so cute. I hope she chooses to do so. Is that so? Yeah. Then, <laughs> I see not how I could refuse such a kindness. I shall accompany you to the village. To tell the truth, I have never been there myself. It would be a good opportunity to get to know them, to strengthen our bond. As is your duty, my son. Roselle and custom it is, then. Aye, all of us. So it looks like we've got our next chapter in Roselin Village, that makes sense. Are there any story beats I'm missing? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Let's go on in. Greetings and welcome, Lord Saranoa and Lady Frederica. My name is Jerome. Bid you welcome on behalf of the Roselle, and congratulations on your engagement, as well as assuming lordship of your house. You have my gratitude. We hope you will continue to lend your support to House Woolfort. You have my word. I owe your lord that father. sounds so familiar. Debt. You have my gratitude. Is that? I think that's one of the Fire Emblem Heroes quotes or something. Though even hmm. were that not the case, you are engaged to one of our own and Lady Frederica. Few things could bring us more joy. We shall make the finest dress you have ever seen. On that subject, I have one humble request. I would like to incorporate this pendant into the design. Huh. The pendant you were never without. The one that she was holding earlier, I think, in Hyzant. Is one of a kind, left to me by my late mother. Hmm. She was one of the Rosellen refugees who fled Hyzant during the war. In a twist of fate, she fell in love with the former Archduke, and thus was I born. After I was born, she was sent back to Hyzant, oh. where she met her end. Yikes. I see why it never leaves you. Pray fashion the dress in this pendant's image. It shall be done, my lord. Let us delay no further. Lady Frederica, please step inside, that we may take your measurements. Thank you kindly. <laughs> So I know there's the usually more story in triangle strategy, no but would have been really strange if a battle just broke out right way. there. <laughs> I'd very much like that. Okay, at least we get an exploration phase. That's pretty cool. Um, probably some new info about the Rosellans, which is also quite nice. Came to this land in the midst of the Salt Iron War, desperate to escape. Hyzant's extraordinary cruelty. Mm. Ah, okay. Um, hmm. Duty to help those in need. That seems like morality. Uh, pray the day soon comes when you no longer require protection and are free to live your lives. Okay. Let us work together. That's definitely utility. Uh, this seems like liberty. I mean, it's got the word free in it. And it looks like I'm going kind of morality-ish at this point, so I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> Alright, we got some info as well. That's pretty nice. <laughs> For once, it's Serenoa who stands out. Yeah, fair enough. You don't get much of a... You actually don't get too many anime protagonists with black hair, do you? Uh, I guess you do, huh? Never mind. Keep their land free from harm. Sounds about right. Okay, um, I'm also looking for sparklies here. Oh, yep, that's one. Any other sparklies while I talk to these people? Let's see. We may be under House Wolfort's protection. We dare not leave the village. The goddess is faithful. We'll haul us straight back to the source if they catch sight of us. Right, and the source was in, uh, in Hyzant, so that's, uh, not a good place. Aw, this kid wants to leave. Oh, no. Ooh, there's plenty of fun to be had here. 
because you're precious to her. Be able to venture further afield when you're older. Ooh. All right, let's let's be nice and uh, let's keep the kid out of danger. Let's do that. <laughs> this kid's got some confidence. I can get behind that. I really can. And speaking of getting behind things, I had no idea you could walk here until I started trying it. Oh, there is someone hiding in the shadows here. Strong and vigilant if we are to maintain the peace we have enjoyed on these lands. Yeah. Oh, what the? That ladder just look up. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, I can, I can go on top of buildings. Oh, that's so cool. There's another small ladder that isn't necessary at all. Oh, wait, no, it's just something to examine? Ah, uh, no, it's just a place in the back. Okay, right. And that reminds me that I do need to remember to uh, turn the map around. <laughs> Keep forgetting you can do that. I'm so used to the games where you can't. So it looks like all of these people go hunting, usually. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they have uh, good hunting grounds here, or if it's just the only thing they can do. Alright, down the ladder and probably up the other side. Have I talked to this guy already? Ah, that's the one taking their measurements. Okay, um, I'm gonna get up here. Let's see. There's the ladder. Found it. Up we go. Oh, and there's a sparkly. Okay, remember that sparkly? We've made our home here in the valley in the hopes that we'd not be discovered. Use the lay of the land to our advantage, like. Fair enough. Anything else on this little top ledge over here? It doesn't look like it, so down for the sparkly, please. Where's, where's the sparkly? Here it is. Okay, another HP recovery pellet. I really do need to stock up on those, so it's a good thing I'm already getting them. That'll hopefully teach me not to go into battle without um, a decent number of those, honestly. They've been quite useful. Is that a cat? Oh, that's so cute. My convictions have been strengthened for talking to a cat. Oh, in what way? Like liberty, I guess? Morality? <laughs> Climbing the ladder to the roof and playing lookouts. Oh, look at that. It's a game tutorial in the form of a child. That's actually super nice. Okay. I think I've talked to everyone. Are there buildings I can go in? I definitely talked to him already. Uh, hmm. Okay, here's a building. There we go. There are. And here's where my people are, right? Let's take some stuff. Uh, got a little bit of money. Added Marvels of Norzelia Volume 10 to notes. Okay. Uh, find notes as the game progresses. These notes have no direct effect on the story, but they will help you better understand Norzelia and its history. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, and you can view them at any time by selecting view notes. Definitely gonna do that. Um, is that... Inventory materials... Probably in the War Chronicle. Interesting. I wonder if we can collect more information by talking to the members of our own army. I'm not sure. Happy to see that they flourished under Lord Simone's protection these last 30 years. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Actually, I can't see any reason why Gila would have visited the, uh, the Rosellen village here. Who's this? Oh, this is Jerome. Okay. Eternally grateful to House Wolfwood. As a steward of this village, I pray we can work together to ensure a lasting peace. Nice. Seems like a cool guy. Couldn't believe my eyes when the Rizal arrived in the Domain during the Salt Iron War. Now we just gotta keep him safe. Yeah, fair enough. And here's Anna! Share a portion of the forest bounty with the House Wolford each year as thanks for their safekeeping. That's quite nice, actually. Huh, okay. Um, cool. <laughs> I have to ask the question. Where's Corrington? Where is he? <laughs> I guess he doesn't count as a main character. That's why he's not here. No. I want more Corrington in my life. <laughs> How do I get down from here? Okay, cool. So I've gone into that building. Are there any other buildings I can go into? Hmm. I did talk to this guy, I think. Yep. Uh, got that ladder, got this guy, mm, there's another ladder there, two people. Okay, that looks like it's about done with, um, just be a bit longer. Okay, conclude exploration probably. There aren't any merchants around this area, but I do think I can visit the encampment. So maybe I'll get a quick level in, um, 
before I move on with the rest of this. Oh, there's Quarantine. Look, he's chilling. Yeah. <laughs> Lord Saranoa, I owe you a debt of gratitude. At last, I may pursue my research free from the Ministry's stifling orders. I am a student of ice magic, particularly the fascinating crystalline structures of the ice itself. You see, as the surface melts, a quasi-liquid layer forms, and... Forgive me, my lord, I find magic to be a fascinating topic of conversation. Though I am but a scholar, I swear to you I will prove that ice magic has its place on the battlefield. Oh, I love the scholar type. The scholar type is absolutely the best. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk to the merchant. Let's get some stuff, maybe. Um, and the question is, can I upgrade any other weapons? I've got a decent amount of materials now after a few mock battles and the battle itself. Looks like I've got three HP recovery pellets, none large, which is a little worrying. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's wait a bit and uh, see if I can forge anything first, and then I can come back and uh, get any materials I need. Um, so the first thing I was thinking is, Anna being able to attack twice is quite useful. Can I up people's speed? I can. Hmm. Well. <laughs> Stone, iron, looks like I've got enough, and it costs 500, though, for one extra speed? Gotta say, that's not a lot. Um, hmm. Can I... Uh, can I check her stats? Roster... Yeah, let's see what everyone's speed looks like, just uh, as a quick... 28 speed, wow, okay, so 20, 29 is not going to be too much of an increase, but hey, you know, every speed counts. Um, let's see, 25, 25, 27, maybe it does count, actually. It looks like everyone is around the 20-something range. Yeah, hmm. Might be worth it, actually, to increase the speed, especially since um, already being able to act twice during a turn is, you know, makes her super useful. Definitely been relying on her quite a bit. Um... Yeah, does Eridor might also need something, and I'm probably going to be bringing Eridor into battle a bit more. Does anyone else have the physical defense necessary to stand up? I guess uh, Benedict does, that's pretty cool. But Benedict is the one that you'd normally be relying on to buff others' defense, so... Hmm. Roland, yeah. Okay. Quarantine is <laughs> not that great of a unit, huh? Well, he is level 3, and the others are all at level 4 or higher. I'm gonna try to level him up because I freaking love Quarantine, but um, that is that is gonna be my game. Trying to make units viable is definitely the way to go, <laughs> even if they kind of aren't. Well, you know, the best units are always the ones that you grow yourself. Oh, it looks like I do have large HP recovery pellets. Okay, that's cool. I was just checking the merchant menu, so I didn't notice. Yeah, maybe, um, maybe I'll up Anna's speed by one. Although she can attack twice, so it's tempting to uh, go for the attack. Hmm. Plus five attack is quite nice. But I, I mean, te technically I should be using Anna to uh, get doubles on people. Let's take another quick look at her. Um, there we go. Yeah, strength nine, five, ten, nine, nine. Nine. Everyone's at nine. Does it have more to do with the weapon, I guess? Or yeah, here we go. Power 23, 25, 29, 33. Right. Okay. So it does have to do with the weapon then. That's fair. I don't think they can unequip their weapons in this game. So hmm. good shield 41. Wow. Wait a minute. It didn't seem like Eridor was doing that much damage, but I guess he was. Hmm. All right, um, and I, didn't I upgrade Saranoa's? Yeah, there we go, 41, that sounds about right. Uh, I upgraded both Saranoa's and Huad's weapons already, um, which is why they've got the extra damage, and it looks like Eridor just comes with it, that's pretty nice. Okay, um, goal is probably gonna be, uh, increase Eridor's attack by mm, some number. Five, I think, is the one that we're given, and maybe Anna's speed by one. If I have the money and the movement, movement <laughs> the materials if i have the money and the materials to do that then i will go ahead and do it um but first first let's take a look at our mock battles so i've got one more um combating mages area attacks also deal damage to multiple targets so positioning is vital when fighting them yeah for sure um let's try it and it looks like i do get iron from this which is pretty nice i like how they're called mental mock battles 
If they are, why am I getting real resources from it? Hmm? Suspicious. Okay, unit placement. Let's put, um... I do want Eridor and Corentin in both. Uh, hmm. And I definitely want Anna in, because I'm going to try to get her leveled up. Uh, Serenoa can stay. Roland, you're out. Benedict. Mm, defense boosts. Frederica, are there any fire mages? Because if so, I guess I'll put her in, but if not, maybe not. Yeah, there are. Carolooms. So two healers, that's quite nice. I'm gonna get rid of the mages and then keep the healers around and probably just keep um, attacking them <laughs> for HP. Okay, so there's two fire mages. I can uh, maybe shield Eridor. Um, oh, I can't shield because that would do too much damage in return. Hmm. Well... Okay, well, there's there's three anyways, so I'll have enough time to take them all out for sure. Let's play some units. Um, let's not cancel the mental mock battle. Okay, uh, Eridor, Quarantine. Um, Huet? Archers are super useful, especially flying ones. But I think this is probably not the best place to level her up at the moment, so maybe not. Uh, yeah, looks like this is fine. Okay. Yeah, usually it's best to kind of pick your units and focus on them, um, but I really have not quite decided yet based on what's actually going to be useful. And I also don't know who I'll be picking up in the future. <laughs> One of the fun parts of going into this completely blind. Okay. Uh, let's begin then. I'm gonna go ahead and start with Anna, probably. Um, Quarantine's gonna have some difficulties against all of these fire mages. Hmm. Yeah, definitely not the best place to start him off with, but, um, you know, I can probably get a lot of damage in to these healers and uh, also keep healing myself, so it's best to keep Gila back for sure. Um, and I'll put Serenoa forward. Oh, you know what? It would have been useful to have Roland here, actually, but I don't really necessarily need to level him up while I do need to level up Serenoa. Can Eridor deal with magic? No, he can't. Hmm. back to unit placement right looks like frederica is really probably going to be the best here just in terms of uh having fire damage but i really didn't want to level her up either okay anna and frederica it is um, i'll be relying on hopefully some evasion uh although it doesn't i'm not sure if that actually does a lot for anna specifically and uh let's kind of just int on both of these mages at once maybe and keep our healers in the back along with uh, Mr. Ice Mage here. Okay, um, that sounds about good for now. Let's, uh, let's go back, let's save. Always good to save. And let's begin. Right, in we go. Your orders. Okay, um, how bad can these people be, right? How bad? Simulation, uh, tells me that I do a Mm, kind of insignificant amount of damage to them, honestly. But, uh, defense, my... So it looks like I can simulate someone else's, uh, or my attack on uh, an enemy unit, but I don't think I can simulate an enemy attack on me. Can I? Hmm, I can't, which is kind of sad, but that's okay. Alright, um, looks like I get to go... Basically, before all of the people on this side, that healer's not gonna be able to do much. So, placing myself in the front here does put me at a disadvantage, and kind of allows them to attack. But they'd be able to anyways, mages have huge range. So, it's fine. I think I'll just go stand here, and uh, I don't think they'll be able to take me out with one hit, at least. And I think the best thing is to spread out here, definitely among mages. So, gonna do that. Let's put my weaker units in the corner, and... and turn. For the honor of House Wolfort. Okay, spreading out a little bit, probably. Um, 
Three is going to go next. I don't want anyone directly in three's range. And it looks like uh, I've managed to keep Anna out of it for just now, but um, yeah. Oh, I don't want to put Serenoa right here because then the mages will be able to get me all at the same turn. Keeping spread out is going to be pretty vital. Uh, hmm. And Eridor gets a move next too, which I don't like because if three had gone first, he would have wasted his turn. Okay, let's put Serenoa maybe... Um, here. Okay, and I'll, I'll move Eridor off to the side, probably. Which is unfortunate. Um, you know what? Actually, he can tank number two and just uh, hopefully won't get hit by number seven. Because I do expect number seven and eight over there in the corner to go after Anna probably instead. Um, and yeah, you know what? I might as well apply sprint on myself. I'll need it next turn. Okay. So two will come after Eridor, probably. As expected. That's fine. Okay, and now I can heal. Um, who's next? That healer is next, which is fine for me. Uh, let's cure some wounds Ooh, and gain some XP, which is kind of the important part. <laughs> I will end this. All right, uh, fire. Let's let's go. I think these people are all what resistant to fire, probably. Yeah. So quarantine is gonna be useful on the attack, but a little useless on defense, which kind of sucks. Um, I also do want to remain spread out because mages. So, hmm. I can, however, put Flame Shield on someone, uh, which will be pretty useful. So, yeah, let's do that. Um, this one was just not grouping up. Yeah. <laughs> is This is the mage practice. Yep, exactly. I am specifically attempting to keep the healers alive so that I can uh, try gaining some levels on them afterwards. <laughs> and hello, nice to see you again, for sure. Okay, let's Flame Shield. Um... I, I'm trying to pick the people who I want to keep gaining levels on, and Eridor is definitely one of them. So yeah, let's let's keep him kind of safe, and he definitely doesn't have any magic resistance at all, so I feel like he'll need it. Okay, Quarantine, you're gonna get mobbed by two and three immediately. That is not good. Let's um let's stay out of danger for now. I do want to level up Quarantine, and if he gets murdered, I will be very sad. I can cast magic now, but uh hmm. This is fine. Okay. Uh, as expected. Did I get some counter damage at least? It looks like no, huh? Hmm, that's kind of sad. Okay, uh, no one bothered to stand close enough to me that I can double them, but Serenoa will be able to at least after the healer goes. So maybe a double strike on 11 and then I go team up on 11 with Serenoa. Hmm, that's kind of sad because uh, XP works on the way that underleveled. Yeah, yeah. So um, right now, I guess I'm going to take the little scraps uh, that I can get with... Uh, with anyone else and kind of just keep going so the healers can actually heal themselves um, and what I'm gonna do is let the healers heal themselves while I gain XP on them. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's something that worked last time and I'm gonna try it again and see if it worked again. Uh, but yeah, actually Quarantine is level 3 so he will be gaining something here, at least. Yay! My plan is to have him kill the fire mages if possible. Looks like um, 6 at least here will be open for attack and I can maybe team up on him? I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, let's let's go after 11. Uh, maybe throw some poison, might not really be too useful. Once again, would have been nice if there was someone standing right next to the mages, but then again, you know, why would that even happen? I can also use my quietus here. Uh, a little degenerate. <laughs> uh, do you mean <laughs> keeping the healers alive and slowly beating them up? Because... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's great because uh, the last time I did that, um, actually, Serenoa was like gravely wounded or something, um, and it was great because every time he hit someone, he was like, "What would father do?" But, <laughs> but I was making him essentially commit, you know, mild amounts of torture, which was uh, <laughs> not the not best thing to do in terms of, you know, in-game context. But hey, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> okay, um, the laying strike is not necessary. I do want to take him out now if I can. All right, let's face away and go. As expected, I do need to keep the healers alive, which means this is gonna go on for a long time. Uh, ooh, okay, two ice mage or er, two fire mages. Oh, I don't like this. I do not like this. I wish um, Frederica had gone first. Do I have enough magic resistance to stay alive after this one specific battle mage hits? Um, Quarantine is the real question here, because Quarantine, my my man Quarantine, is weak to fire. So he's probably gonna get freaking murdered. Well, you know what? Let's let's test by um, seeing how much damage he can do to the mages. Looks like, well, not a lot on the on the healer, obviously. 
Uh, what chapter am I on? I am on the beginning of number four. So I have not seen anything for number four. Don't spoil me. <laughs> but I do know something that could potentially have happened in like chapter five or six because I played that demo from a year ago. Oh, did you get to something fun in your playthrough? <laughs> Did you get to a potential life-changing moment of some sort, I suppose? I mean, there are probably lots of those in this game, so uh, I don't even think that's a spoiler. Huh, yeah, 32 to 57. That's not a lot, but um, how much resistance do these guys have? And how much attack do I have is the question. Uh, dun -da -da, dun -da 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 -da. Power 25. Is that counting your magic attack? Um, hmm. I think it is. Quarantine is the Ice Mage. Yes. So apparently you did get Quarantine, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Just wondering if you had a certain character. Ooh, um, I don't have this other character that you think I have because the only person I have is Quarantine. And, you know, the normal starting army, of course. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna just assume that I can survive a hit from number two and attack number six with the hopes of killing him, maybe? Um, yeah, I think neglecting Quarantine is probably par for the course here. <laughs> I just like Quarantine a lot. I think he's amazing. I am a huge fan of the researcher type. It's just something I love. So, not gonna lie, that's, uh, that is my thing. Okay, let's see. Uh, hmm. I can get number six with a critical hit from Eridor after this turn. So, can I stand out of the way of number two and attack number six is the question. And I think the answer is yes here. Yeah, maybe like right there. Um, what's my, what's my strongest attack against him? end of chapter four you get the avatar uh <laughs> okay i don't know what that means if you mean like last airbender avatar or like player avatar which one i see breath that's within range single enemy have a chance to silence them yeah let's you know what let's go all in on number six over here just because screw him right why does he exist um, okay facing forward please don't kill me please don't kill me Oh wow, yeah, he ran out of uh, mage spells. Actually, they all ran out of mage spells. I forgot about that. Nice. <laughs> I have like two turns of freedom. And this guy is silenced too, so you know what? I'll just let him be there. Okay, um, I can... Uh, oh, so like last airbender avatar, huh? Hmm, that is interesting. That is definitely interesting. Uh, maybe I'll go after 11 now, I think. Yeah, let's let's murder 11. Uh, Would have been nice once again if Eridor got the kill here, but he didn't. That's okay. Um, gonna heal people for XP while staying out of the way. So maybe all the way back here and, uh, rod people. So, huh, someone who can use all the elements, huh? I'm assuming. Like, you know, fire, ice, wait, yeah, fire, ice, lightning, that's what we have here. I remember, like, this kind of, uh, like a nature winds type girl, uh, or was it wind? Is there even wind in this game? No, I think it was like a nature girl or something that was there in the demo. Um, but yeah, don't remember any specifics, actually. Okay, so Frederica still has her spell. I'm gonna try casting it on seven and nine. Actually, no, I can't do that. I want to keep the healers alive. Right. Um, hmm. Let's go. I can't get any nice combos on them. I don't want to bother killing number two either. Um, but three is gonna move out of the way soon. So probably more of a yeah, probably more of a problem than the other. So let's let's go after number. Wasn't a girl, huh? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I guess. Uh, you know what? I can get XP by casting Flame Shield, and that doesn't do any damage. So that's nice. Let's cast Flame Shield on Quarantine. Get over here. Flame Shield. I shall protect you. Shall be a boon. Staying alive. For the win. Okay, you are silenced. So you will whack someone with a buff. Yeah, as expected. Time to work. As expected indeed. Okay, um, now I get to double Anna with um my good Saranoa here. So let's do it. Let's murder some mages. Okay, that's not a lot of HP. Um, let's not give Anna the kill, maybe. Uh, hmm. Maybe I should get started on beating up some healers for minimal amounts of XP. <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's get started on that and also pick this up. I think I can do two things at once here. Victory is in oh, I got a critical. Ah, uh, mm, that's not good. Okay, well, he'll heal himself and he'll be fine. Okay, Saranoa, you can take out either four or six. Four is definitely the priority. Six is going to come after any of these people, but it's honestly fine. So let's do that. Uh, okay, I got a level there. That's pretty cool. Hawk dive. I don't know what that does, but I'll find out later. Okay, healer. Good. Perfect. And another healer. Also good. All right, and now I can quarantine some people. <laughs> Anna deserves the world. I actually, I'm really starting to like Anna. I will say, um, Anna is pretty chill. 
free. Yes. Like, nice. just the utility of Anna is just so cool. Okay, um, some more whacking with books. That is not a good idea, mages, but I will leave you to it while I continually cast Heal Wounds to gain more XP. Who needs help? I guess Anna does. Can I get all the way over there? Uh, I don't want to get attacked by number 8, who finally has a spell charged up. Can I murder 8 before then? I'm gonna say yes, I probably can. Actually, no, Serenoa can't reach him. But Eridor's going next, and Eridor's got a ton of damage, so yeah, I think 8 is probably fine. Four is definitely silenced for at least one more turn, so yeah, I can take a step forward. Now, can I reach Anna? Nope. Okay, well, that was useless. Let's just stay here and heal. Right here, cure wounds. I can't reach that far. Wow, okay, um... Range of what, four? Yeah, four. Okay, that's not a lot, but hey, it'll do. Alright, and face away from the wall. You won't beat me! Uh, and I lost my fire counter, that's quite sad. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to murder this guy, and then there's only one mage left and he's silenced, so... Uh, top tier strategies. Meanwhile, let's not stand in the way of other people. So here we go. Allow me. Okay, uh, Frederica, this is actually fine. Maybe I can get some more XP off of this one specific mage by just scorching things. Uh, or maybe I can, huh, how much XP does whacking someone with a book give you? Oh, it doesn't matter. I can't even get there. Ah, oh, sad. Um, have I leveled Benedict? I think Benedict is at like the normal four or something. Would you mean the movement one? I don't think I have that yet, but I won't be able to check until I finish this battle probably. So we'll see. Uh, flame shield. Can I cast flame shield on an enemy? <laughs> Does it let me do that? It doesn't let me do that. <laughs> Aw, that would have been cool. <laughs> that would have been a good way to get some damage in on people while Wait, also um, wasting turns. Oh, I stood one step away from- oh no. Okay, well. It's alright, he's silenced. He can't do anything. Okay, uh, some stabbing, but not on the guy who can actually die from it, and preferably from the front. Unless I want to kill him off. I don't particularly want to kill him off, and I also don't want to give Serenoa the XP from doing that. I want to give Quarantine that XP because I love Quarantine. Like, I, I'm gonna play this game optimally in terms of uh, pretty much every other character, but I will try to make Quarantine as viable as I possibly can. Trust me. Um, the guy was so amazing. He had ice walls. And I also just, I, yeah, what can I say? This game is more fun when you play it with characters you like. So Quarantin, uh will get that. He does go after this mage though, and the mage gets to attack, which is mm, not nice. Well, it's fine. I don't think I take damage from getting hit, so. And besides, number three is gonna heal him, so it's okay. <laughs> okay, uh, I specifically chose to attack from not the same area, and I'm also specifically going to choose not to throw poison at him. So I want to keep him alive for a little bit longer Forward. so I can gain some XP. Um, Sarah Noah, how much damage do you do? That is a lot of damage. Hmm. Kinda don't want to do that. Not the movement one, the one after. Ooh, so more good skills. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta play with the characters you like, man. That's just how it works. I mean, I'll, I mean, I've, I gotta pick useful characters. Um, but still, like, Quarantine, man, he's just... He's, he's cool. He's too cool. Okay, uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna murder people. And they all get to go next at once. I'm gonna assume that maybe two and three will waste their turns healing four, and four is probably gonna spend his turn um, beating up someone. Gotta play with waifus. <laughs> true. Very true. <laughs> at this point, Anna is the waifu. Oh wow, 12 damage with the staff. Okay, it's a good thing I had fire counter on there. Um, and yeah, let's... Oh man, I can't kill him, probably. Quarantine, no. I believed in you. Roland is hot. This is true. Um, Roland is very hot. Gonna say Quarantine still wins here, but um, Roland has got some stuff going for him too. I think though the hottest of the yeah no hottest is still Quarantine. He's just he's too cool. Literally, I didn't mean that pun. I swear. <laughs> okay, um, beating up the mages, Let me not getting you. XP because Quarantine is slow. Can I use that quietest thingy? Is it minus or something to use it? Yeah, here we go. Move an ally's turn to directly after your own. Can I kill this guy with Quarantine? Probably not yet. So maybe let's heal, um, use Frederica to attack, and then go after him. Yeah, that sounds about good. Okay, cure wounds. You have my gratitude. Um, it was pretty fun so far. Plus it has a 20% off launch discount. Oh, that's nice. That's actually I useful. <laughs> maybe I should get it now. Hmm. Okay, scorch some bad guys. Does he die? No, that's perfect. Um, great. Stay alive for just a little bit longer so I can get Quarantine the kill. Um, yeah, the sad thing about these mages is I really am not doubling them with anyone, so... I have not spent my kudos, actually. Uh, actually, I, I have. I've uh, bought one thing. I've bought that in tandem because I just, I know this thing is useful. Um, in tandem... 
on quarantine because my man can then attack. Oh, you know what? He's going before number seven anyways. Oh, but then four and five are definitely going to heal seven first. Yeah, this sucks. It's okay. It's once for battle, so it's fine. Um, hmm. To beat up five or to beat up six? Will five live? Because I do want five to live. Okay, he's alive. He's alive. Why? Okay, um, once again, avoiding the critical Time chance so I can get research. more XP. Alright, please murder this dude. And now I'll have all my mages dead, which means I can start blasting. Three. To further the arcane arts. Okay, that's only one I level. Not a lot, but hey, now becomes the fun part, which is just stabbing these healers repeatedly. <laughs> okay, that's 4 XP. Not a lot, but as expected. Well, actually, he's pretty good. Wolford. Time to stall. Time to stall. Time to stall. Cool that is quite mean. Um, but fortunately for me, I have Cure Wounds and Your can use it on myself. There is literally no way these people can kill me now, so... Oh, look, there's some spells over there, actually. I, I should collect that. Um, but not now. Okay, these people all have fire resistance, right? Which means I, I can probably get that. some good um, XP on Frederico with them. My turn. Okay, uh, but I do want to focus on leveling Anna, so I'm going to keep that going. Uh, get one stab in. Stop. Come at and Eridor, wait... Can't do anything. He does too much strike. damage. It's hard to level these people who do too much damage, honestly. Okay, come on, cure wounds. Just I no, just cure this. wounds. Stop trying to hit people. Oh my gosh, so mean. Okay, um, I will see how much damage I can do. If it's not a lot, then I'll go for it. Uh, hmm. I guess I can whack with a book. Let's just whack. This is fine. Yeah. Um. So that's what like. Hmm. 12 damage? Am I mathing right? I think I'm mathing right, yeah. And I have 21 XP, what's that gonna go to? 20. Okay, so it's 4. Actually, yeah, that's the same amount of attack for any- Oh, great. Actually, that means I can just stand here and whack people with books. Um, these mages can level up quite fast then. Yeah, I'm gonna have to worry about this dagger stabbing thing, unfortunately, in terms of uh, Anna's leveling up count. But hey, oh, I can act twice. Mm, yeah, let's go for a little bit more, and then hopefully this guy will heal himself soon. Cool heads shall I'll take you on. Oh, I waited with my healer, whoops. <laughs> but hey, it shouldn't matter. Okay, um, if the healer over there tries to critically hit, um, Eridor, gonna end up in some trouble, I think. Nope, okay, good. Shall we begin? The healers are smart. What can I say? Uh, but yeah, this begins Hello, the, uh, <laughs> the first I'll bout of what on. I call grinding, which, um, Time is just, it's just whacking people with books. I'm gonna wait maybe until Anna levels Away to six, and I'll keep this going until then. My turn. Uh, Okay, which way? Uh -huh, that doubles in, so no. Alright, how about here? One stab. My turn. Oh, I doubled him in on accident. Um, and let's go up. QP is nice. Um, what's QP? Oh, the quietest points? Is that the other currency? I think that's the other <laughs> currency, isn't it? Okay, waiting here. Okay, some the whacking. That's strike. fine. Serano, you may pause. I will end this. <laughs> Don't claim to end this. I don't want to end this. Okay. Uh, let's face away. Okay. Good. Heal yourself. I've been waiting for this. You can wait even longer. <laughs> All right. Um, I think a few more hits and I'll get it. Okay. And uh... oh, what? <laughs> okay. I this plus sign thing. I shall do what I can. All right, healing at least will continue to last. Allow me. I think you can also heal characters. Um, okay, there we got a level. Um, let's see what I got for that level. Nothing apparently. That's fine. Um, that is all good. But yeah, um, apparently you can heal characters that have not taken damage, which is quite nice and means uh, leveling up is going to work even better. Um, so definitely going to go for that. Quarantine uh, here. How much damage is he, or how much XP is he getting? Is it ten for each huh. of these? Yeah, 10. Okay, uh, it's not a lot, but you know, Allow better me. than 4, for sure. Okay, can't hit anyone else because they're gonna die, so let's wait. I've been waiting for this. Not <laughs> Every turn, My he's turn. gonna be like, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> um, can I hit once? I can hit once, Allow so let's me. do that and level up. This will prove you Got take cover. Okay, can I gain XP by using take cover? You won't get to I gained 2 XP for that. Not bad. Um... <laughs> Still kind of a waste, Ugh. but yeah, okay, now goal is definitely going to be to level Hello. quarantine. You have my thanks. I will end this. And, uh, Frederica, what can you do? 
I think Flame Shield probably gives me XP, so let's just start casting Flame Shield on people every turn. I shall protect you. I'll keep on then. Okay, yeah, so, like the four XP that I would have expected. Um, let's go whack someone with a book. <clears throat> and then wait. Come at me. And more waiting. More waiting. Prevail. Okay, please heal yourself. Good. I fight for peace. All right. Oh man, this reminds me of all of the good times. <laughs> I do spend a lot of time grinding in Fire Emblem. I think it's uh, not really required, um, but it is something that gives you quite a bit of XP points, especially since there aren't really any mock battles in a lot of the games. Um, the flame shield people twice just for the fun of it. Um, who can I whack with a book this time? You. Okay. From where shall we strike? One more level on Quarantine, I think, so I that'll be maybe five turns. Okay, I can provoke people, actually, but I don't want to do that, so uh, I should probably just be casting Sprint on myself, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's cast Sprint. Show me what you're made of. 10 XP for Sprint, nice. Actually, I will be standing here and casting Sprint. <laughs> let's go. Okay, um, can I take cover after taking cover? Does it increase my turn count? So it looks like right now I have uh, one turn count. Ah, oh, well, I wasted that turn. I'll be checking that out next time anyways. Okay, let's take a step forward here. Cure wounds. Allow me. Much obliged. All right. Oh, good. Allow me. They're actually healing themselves instead of just kind of standing there. Which is good because I will be spending more turns casting yet. Flame Shield. Okay, um, I wonder if the amount of XP you gain from these kind of like normal enough. moves decreases based on your um, your level, your current level, or if it decreases based on the level of the enemies you're currently facing. That would be interesting. That's definitely something I'm gonna have to check out after this. Work. Okay, uh, nope, 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 nope. Take cover. Yep. So it looks like it's probably based on the current level, maybe in relation I'll with the other stuff you've got going on. Maybe it's like, uh, hmm, current level of your unit minus or plus current level of the enemies you're fighting, I, I guess. Do what I, can. I don't know. Looks like healing does give you 10 XP always, I think, if I'm correct. Your wounds are healed. Nope, apparently not. So it is just, um... People at level 5 gain 4 XP points for their normal actions. People at level 6 gain 2 XP points. And people at level... Mm, what is Quarantine? 3? 4? I think he's 4. So yeah, if you're at the I same level as the enemy, you gain 10. Um, which is nice, actually. It looks like they've definitely set this up so that you can essentially just go into things, level up until you're about the same level as your opponents, and then keep fighting. That's quite nice, actually. I wonder if everything gets you points. I, that's another thing I should probably test at some point. So for example, if I were to show up in like a battle with level one people, would I still Time gain experience? Maybe, maybe not, but who knows. Huh. All right, one more turn maybe, um, and we'll see what happens after that. And... I'll take you on! Eridor really could be leveling up here. Um, yeah, just gonna sprint again. Show me what you're made of. Shall we begin? Uh, risk-free battles are the best, and we shall begin. Your wounds are <laughs> appreciated. Facing Defeat forward. is not an option. <laughs> Defeat is not an option. Thanks, Saranoa. <laughs> Very useful. Ah, uh, stop trying to hit me. It's not gonna do anything. You can't win this round. I am essentially torturing you. I will end this. Okay. Mm, flame shield. Let me help. You know, the real question is, can you Time set up a bot to research. do all of this and then just wait for your uh. levels? <laughs> Would be kind of a dick move, but... <laughs> I'll take okay. You on. One more sprint and I'll level up now. Okay, what do I get? Steel back. Um, let's check it out. Steel back. Decreases damage when being hit from behind. That's super useful. Um, so it looks like Eridor is going to be the proper tank. I don't like the fact that he doesn't have any magic resistance, well, though. We that kind of worries me. Oh, well. Cool <laughs> heads shall prevail. Look at these people, curing their Your wounds over and over that. again. Just waiting. Uh, okay. Anna still taking cover. 
Does she gain an extra diamond for having that second turn? I don't think so. Hmm. That's fair. I fight for peace. Okay, flame shield. I shall protect you. I'm getting used to this. <laughs> it falls to me. All right, Quarantine. Can you do it? Can you take him out? The answer is no. <laughs> wow. That's actually really sad. <laughs> well, these guys are resistant to ice. Away with you. Wait, they aren't even Come resistant to ice. I think they just have like high amounts of magic resistance, I believe. Okay, well, it should still be one more turn, and then I'll be done with this grinding for now. I promise not to grind any longer, so I'll even give Saranoa a hit here, because I expect to end this quickly. Um, and the lowest level person probably should take the XP from this damage. So... Hmm. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's still wait with Anna. And let's still heal with Hila. Okay, um, stay there. Doing some healing, sounds good. I will Doing end. some whacking, sounds even better. Flame shield. Time and quarantine, research. finally. Okay, um, let's get the last whack of the book in and even give you a kill while doing it. This so, wall of discovery. ice. There we go, that's the skill I wanted. <laughs> he is now the quarantine of legend. The one who can actually quarantine people. <laughs> I remember the skill being useful. I'm, I'm pretty sure there are more useful skills out there. Like, I'm, I'm sure there are. Uh, but it was super useful when I used it, so hey, what can I say? Okay, now let's let's do some actual killing. For the honor um, of House Noah, you may finish him off. <laughs> Sarah Noah's convictions have been strengthened. <laughs> Sarah Noah is now okay with committing uh, minor acts of treason, treason and war crimes. <laughs> okay, but I did get two iron and one timber from that, so that's quite nice. Whose weapons can I level up? Uh, I did decide earlier that I was probably going to go for one speed on Anna, and perhaps um, extra damage on Eridor, or maybe extra defense on Eridor, depending on what happens to be cheaper and or um, better suited at the moment. But yeah, speed on Anna sounds pretty useful, um, and it looks like I do have the materials necessary. Um, requires one stone, one iron, and 500. Okay, is that the same material required for Eridor? I think it is. Yeah, that sucks. Hmm, who to prioritize here? Uh, well, I can't get the second ranks of anything, I think, at the moment. Uh, increase this weapon potency by 5 to deal greater damage. Hmm. I do want to deal 5 extra damage. Is there no other attack up stuff? Okay, uh, there, there is strength up by 1. Hmm. Does it matter specifically whether you're doing extra weapon damage? Or if you're doing extra attack damage, that's kind of strange. Hmm. Well, this one has a dependency tree, and this one doesn't. But he is also the tank. Hmm. Yeah, at this moment, I'm gonna say probably better to have more defense, um, and let the others do some of the glass cannon attacking. Ugh, but I don't wanna... Hmm. Would be useful to have more magic defense, too. But no, you know what? Physical defense is probably going to be the most useful in the long run. Um, and I will have to buy another stone after this if I want to upgrade Anna as well, which is kind of sad. Yeah. It's a hard move. He is also the main damage dealer. Hmm. I mean, the job of a tank is to just kind of sit behind the enemy and then get double inted on when uh, Anna shows up, so... Hmm. Ugh, difficult choices indeed. I'll go with the weapon potency for- Oh, you know what? No, I already picked that. Yeah, yeah, let's let's try to buff up physical defense for this one. Specific characters seeing as tanks are tanks, and that is how they roll. Um, I'm gonna have people as specialized as possible, if preferable. Okay, now how much does stone cost? Because I would like extra stuff on Anna. Um, especially since speed is pretty important here, I think. Um, let's- Oh, whoops. Come back. I wanna buy your stuff. Okay. Stone is 150. Um, they have two in stock. Sounds about right. Looks like there are also rings of defense for multiple things. Hmm. Kind of nice, but I definitely don't want to be throwing uh, 1,500 on any of this stuff at the moment, so I'm gonna say no to that. I'll just get one stone. I have uh, become quite used to saving up my resources and using them later. <laughs> Such is the way of play. 
Um, but yeah, let's let's go upgrade Anna. Take one speed, my friend, and use it wisely. Speed up, stone and iron. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, five hundred. All right, um, and that should be useful for now. I think you've got a decent amount of speed. Hopefully, she got some more speed on her level up as well. Um, let's check actually. Roster, Anna. 29. Okay, so it looks like no, but that's all right. She does have the extra speed now, so we're good. Uh, gonna save in a different slot, just in case I need to undo any of those things with some amount of urgency. And let's begin the next round. I think I was just about done here. I'd talk to everyone, and that means I can leave. Oh, a cutscene. Hmm. Do you understand just how dangerous it is for a young prince to go gallivanting? Ah, that's all right. Roland him? wasn't there. Punish me if you will. But if I hadn't gone gallivanting, I never would have learned the state of things outside our own kingdom. True. He's got a point, really. Oh? Well, if you are so interested in international affairs, then I have a fitting role for you to play. Ooh. You will oversee the Grand Norzelian Mines. Father, it would be a privilege. Why do I think this has to be a trap? <laughs> I fear that punishment would provoke no reflection. And so oh? I would rather put Maybe your it's not. energies to work. Maybe this guy is just I being nice. You down, I am not blind to your feelings, my son. Nevertheless, I ask that you stay out of harm's way. Of course. Mining is grueling, thankless work. Show the miners the appreciation they deserve. I shall. You have my word. The necessary provisions have been arranged, Your Highness. You are to... Father, may I bring Sarah... <laughs> rather, Lord Wolford. It is his job to oversee the operation, after all. And his yeah. closeness with Dragan may engender goodwill. I know you trust him a great deal, Roland. But I would remind you that his betrothal now binds him to Esfrost. Um, that's kind you of a good thing. You well to be wary of any move he or his house might make. If you're going to Esfrost, he might as well bring sure someone who's technically bound. No? Nevertheless, mm. Sarah Noah is a friend I could never hope to replace. A friend I trust no matter your opinion of him. Yeah, go Roland! Power of friendship! <laughs> Concerning words, your highness. House Wolfort must be subject ah, to it's the same patriot. as the other. <laughs> the guy aptly named for being a patriot of his country. <laughs> Ah, Roland, how dare you believe in the power of friendship when all we truly need is the... Oh, wait, what? What is this? Bring these tidings to Gustadol. When all we truly need is the Northern Mines. <laughs> oh, that's right. He found something strange is in the mines. Everyone? That's how this chapter started. Good. Okay, what did he find? What you see before you is to be seized by the Duchy of Esfrost. Uh... You shall not speak of this beyond those in present company. I'm in present Any company. Can you tell me? <laughs> to the fullest... Lord Dragan, are not the resources we mine destined to be shared among nations? What did they find? Is it salt? Is it this iron? This matter is not up for debate. A discovery of this magnitude could reshape all of Norzelia. And so I ask this of you. Stand with me as I lead this great realm into a new era. <laughs> risk much, Wonderful indeed. <laughs> I shall do exactly. I suppose you know what it is. Thing. Don't tell me. I'll find out. <laughs> I thank you. I have already sent the Archduke a letter informing him of our find. When I am appointed Prime Minister, I promise to reward you all handsomely for delivering me such a boon. You are to be Prime Minister or Ambassador to Glenbrook, perhaps. Ambassador to Glenbrook sounds nice. Um, hopefully it comes Either with way, you joining my army. <laughs> Join my army, Dragon. Do, do it. <laughs> Explore the mine very thoroughly. Ooh, okay. I shall. This guy has ambition and he has dynamite. That's a combination I really like. Alright, we've got our um, clearly evil-coded guys. 
What news from Jurgan, dear brother? I never dreamt our hypothesis would prove true. So you take him at his word? I have no choice. And? What are his demands? Wow, they have spies. Oh my gosh. He On their own to people, be too. Prime Minister in exchange for secreting it away. See, Dragon has a good brain on him. Look at him. He's making demands. He's making entire, I, I don't even know, promises with whatever he found. So he means to threaten you. He is stronger than I believe. Oh, the upcoming chapter is hard. <laughs> I'll get ready then. <laughs> what would you do? Were you me? Keep the secret safe, naturally. Did you yeah, not send keeping the, the secret safe. Good idea. Reason? Surely I did. And they have been issued emergency orders. Then leave the rest to me. Yeah, Dragon doesn't really sound like he's exactly on their side. That makes a lot of sense. I am to have a brother who knows me so well. Ah, and good Dragon. spies on your side. You will rule the day you dared place Glenbrook beside me on the scales of your feeble judgment. <laughs> you can't just go referencing in-game mechanics like that. Tisk tisk, Gustadolf. Hand down the orders. You <laughs> will be crushed beneath. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean. <laughs> They really, they could, well, hmm, I guess they could have staged like an assassination or something, but yeah, it definitely sounds like a bad move and people probably would have pinned it on them immediately, so good point, yeah. I bet at some point, um, if they really wanted to kill him, they'd be like, oh, there was a explosion in the mines, it was a, it was a huge dynamite explosion and, uh, Dragon has been murdered, uh, alas, alas, how could they? Alright, do we get our wedding dress? I like how Sarah Noah is like, I need this wedding dress, this is so important. And Dragon is like, I'm negotiating for the politics of my future kingdom. Oh, I guess he's already part of the kingdom of Estrot. The S dress Frost, measurements S are finished at last. Names. I applaud your patience. Is it exactly as you hoped? It is indeed. I can hardly wait to see it finished. That's cute. I love how she's wearing traditional garb to her wedding. What? Well, uh, I can't pronounce things. Wedding. <laughs> Actually really glad to see that. Oh, look, Roland's back. There you are. Prince Roland, and Huet besides. What brings you here? Don't you know, Sarah Noah? They're a part of your army. We were looking for you. We inquired around Castle Wolfwart and heard you all had come here. Has something happened? Father has asked me to keep watch over the mines. Won't you join me? You scarcely <laughs> need ask. Of course. Of course. We could use a battle this chapter. <laughs> a wise course of action, seeing as you will be overseeing the mining operation. And we can present Dragan with the gifts we procured abroad. Oh yeah, they got him gifts a or something, right? A fine opportunity to get to know the man better. He is a man with grand visions for the future. That much is certain. Then let us waste not one moment more. To the mines. To the mines. <laughs> I'll have the dress ready in time for the ceremony, my lord. You have my thanks, Jerome. Sarah Noah and Frederica journey to the Rosellen village, so she may got be something. Remind me to there. share my link later. The young Lord hmm. gains an unexpected moment of got quiet. Got something on what? I am confused. However, Roland soon arrives with orders from King Redna to inspect the Grand Norzellian Mines, where Dragan has made great progress. Into the city of dynamite. Right, is this the battle? I think this is probably the battle. Doesn't look like there's any other story things. Let's uh let's zoom out all the way and see. Okay. Battle it is. It's a clip, huh? Hmm, okay. I'll check it out. How will Gustadolf respond to my offer? I should think there's but one logical answer. <laughs> Should he refuse for some reason, I will need father's aid. I must apprise him of the situation. See, now I'm not only curious Lord about Dragan, uh, the stuff that Prince Dragon has Roland found, I'm also curious about your clip. <laughs> What's this? Ah, I see. Roland is here at an inconvenient Prince time Roland indeed. and my friends of House Wolfort. Poor Dragon. To Look what at him. do I owe the honor? Apologies for the sudden nature of our visit, Dragan. I have come on father's orders to offer our sincere gratitude, as well as to observe the mining operation. Splendid! The miners will no doubt be heartened by your highness's presence. Does the mining continue apace? Indeed it does. There are no problems to report. 
and what it will all make draw, sense soon. <laughs> and you'll know. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's not uh, menacing at all. <laughs> it was most enlightening indeed. We even brought something for you. I do hope it's to your liking. A portrait of the goddess herself, drawn with. Is this dyed salt? Oh. It is. I understand they are used as talismans in High's head. This gift would fetch unfathomable value in the duchy. I... I cannot thank you enough. It is enough to see you happy. Oh, that's so nice. Look at them. They got like a well-thought-out gift for him. I am glad our deliberations were not in vain. Dragan, I believe it was you who said the future is in the hands of the ardent youth. We are of like mind. Let us shape the future together. <laughs> Indeed, that future is close at hand. Okay, kind of dark, Dragon. Kind of dry. What are you, what are you across doing? Across the border and ask for your cooperation in due course. And I shall gladly assent. Yes, we eagerly await your offer. <laughs> now then, I was thinking I might examine the quarry. Wait, so you're hiding. <laughs> One of the tunnels Agreed. came <laughs> in a few days ago. Isn't that what this I whole game is? It's just salt hype and iron hype. Oh, nice! He has a he has a ploy ready. Did you not this guy is smart. I really like him. <laughs> the miners are working to repair the damage as we speak. It is simply too soon to allow you inside. Was it caused by a blast? It was, in fact. We were perhaps a bit <laughs> overzealous in attempting to remove some of the bedrock. I had no idea your explosives were so powerful. How do you make them anyway? <laughs> I would love to tell you, Your Highness, but. I'm afraid we must keep some It's of the third secrets. great resource of Norzelia. Salt, iron, and gunpowder. <laughs> what I can say is that salt is a vital ingredient. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's great because, like, not only are they, you know, wanting salt, they're literally throwing salt at other nations Surely for wanting salt. They're, like, they're salty about salt. It's great. <laughs> I do love it. <laughs> I thought you'd be surprised. I could scarcely believe oh, is it like saltpeter or something? Saltpeter, I think. A gargantuan um, tome in the archives opened my eyes to the many uses for salt. I think Beyond that's a thing, right? Like saltpeter is one of the ingredients of gunpowder, maybe? Salt, <laughs> saltception. <laughs> Being salty for I salt? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you, Lord Serenoa, as a token. Oh, we got a gift. It's the Codex. What is it? The power of salt. It's actually more salt. <laughs> no way. It's <laughs> a compendium of my research on the uses of salt. That's amazing. <laughs> He's actually fanboying over research. salt. I had no idea. <laughs> I most certainly shall. Oh my Tis gosh. <laughs> fascinating indeed. I too would like to read it when you are through. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's that's true. Sodium does react violently with water, but I mean, does that count as salt? Like, I think just the N.A. does not count as salt, does it? I don't know. Your impressions. Oh, maybe, maybe. They found, like, a chemical reaction to break off the chlorine or something. At yeah, rate, yeah, fair. I see the fair. sun hangs low. Shall we save a tour of the mine for tomorrow? I'm gonna look up what saltpeter is after this stream. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> yes, perhaps that would be best. Yes, of course. I shall prepare entertainment and lodgings for Dude, your Dude, Dragon is smart. Once. Look at that political game. He's like, oh yeah, you know, part of the mine's crashed and, and it's terrible but and it's great because he can use that to cement his power like oh i have such strong dynamites but he can also use it to keep them out of whatever he found which is maybe salt it's just more salt <laughs> he's like we use the salt to find the salt and now everyone else is salty <laughs> uh, oh okay okay here's the surveillance and i have been warned to uh, search the area thoroughly which i shall do okay sparkly give me that sparkly and who are you? Sending the iron we mine here to the consortium, they'll want to account for it all as they do with salt and all else. Okay, fair, fair. Uh, under the jurisdiction of uh, Claris. Have we met Claris? I feel like we've probably met Claris, but I can't quite recall. We've succeeded in lowering Dragon's guard. Um, that is a very political way to view things, actually. I thought Roland was nicer than that, but I love that he isn't, actually. This is quite nice. He's thinking of things in terms of strategy, which is, you know, appropriate for this game. Uh, glad indeed to see a happy contingent of miners from the Duchy alongside your brethren from Glenbrook. Yeah, nice. Good stuff. Who are you? <laughs> She's come to deliver lunch. I hope it's well salted. 
Eshfrost is hard at work building a rail car that will transport the ore we take from the mines. Can you imagine how much more efficient that will make the process? I can, actually. I can imagine that. Oh, this whole place reminds me of, um, oh, that level of Skyward Sword? I don't know if any of you have played it, but there's that level of Skyward Sword with the mines and the time crystals. It's so cool. Best level of Skyward Sword by far. Probably the one level that I actually really liked. <laughs> Never expected Prince Roland, the House of Lord, oh, yeah, grace of the presence. Yeah, we're here. We're here. We're gracing you with our presence. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we're not here to take your stuff. Not at all. Watch your step. I will try. Despite the explosives collapsing one of the tunnels, mining appears to be on schedule. Running a mine, let alone one owned by three nations, is no easy task. The lack of unrest is a credit to Lord Dragon's leadership. Skyward Sword's pretty good. I kind of recommend it. Um, although, out of all the potential Legend of Zelda games you could be playing, um, there are better ones. It's still good, though. It's, it's not bad, for sure. It's on the Switch now, too. Suppose you led this operation and an incident occurred. How would you respond? What would the incident be? I guess we don't know. Here are the problems for a stand from the miners. Um, order an investigation. Find the party or parties responsible. Continue to join the car. Okay, um... Uh, let's see... Issuing orders blindly. Okay, this is like utility. Uh, hmm. Morality, liberty, I guess. I can never tell the difference between liberty and morality. I'm quite bad at that. I'm gonna go for um. Let's let's go with this one. My convictions have been strengthened. Indeed, we cannot be the only ones to bear the brunt of any troubles, but the crown and other nations will seek to share their burdens too. Fair enough. Matter in the cosmetics and ensure we are prepared when we find ourselves in times of crisis. Okay, cool. And allow us to get ahead of any problems that may harm the venture. I should consult my father about this as well. Oh, Link Between Worlds. I really like that one. That's the uh, 3DS one. Yeah, yeah, the one with the paintings. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, I love the painting thing. I really like Ravio. I gotta say, Ravio, best character. <laughs> Go with your heart. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I'm doing for my first playthrough. Although I have decided to at least rule out utility whenever I choose, just in case it becomes important down the line. Um, and I do have Corentin already, which is the only character I know from before. <laughs> so who knows what I'm gonna get next. Um, I already talked to this guy. Go away. I'm sorry, I was mean. Here, I'll talk to you again. Okay. <laughs> Who's this guy? Why is he standing on top of a cliff? Is he like the overseer? Wait, no, let me talk to you. Let me... Ah, uh, okay, we got it. Minister Svarog is as capable a man as the Archduke himself. By all rights, he should be the nation's prime minister, and yet he's performing glorified border duty in the middle of nowhere. Ooh, I see political struggles in my game of triangle strategies. These choices, I think, do actually affect the story. Um, well, not the choices themselves, but um, the choices you make here affect Serenoa's convictions, and then Serenoa's convictions will lock you out of future choices, if I remember correctly. Uh, which is quite fun. Um, I, I think that will be an interesting, like, I think I can't recruit certain characters unless my convictions line up with theirs or something like that. Um, it's going to be pretty cool, actually. Okay, so Svarog is, is chilling somewhere um, and has been sidelined, which is not good. What's this kind of lower level here? Can I get back to it? I just climbed up and can't get back down. Help, I've fallen up and I can't get back down. Uh... <laughs> okay, well, at least I'll pick up the sparkly. Yeah, there are multiple endings too. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually a huge fan of this type of thing too. Although I'll admit I've played a ton more of the... Oh gosh, I went up the freaking stairs again. Oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> Why do you guys structure your minds like this? What kind of a mine is it when you can't fall down the stairs but you can go up? Okay, this random hole just exists and there's nothing to find here. Maybe they were trying to intentionally keep me out of here. <laughs> Fine, whatever. Gosh. <laughs> But yeah, I really haven't played too many of these games with multiple endings and morality choices, so I'm super excited. I already talked to you too. Okay, who's down here? Uh, let's actually talk to... I can't get back up the stairs! Okay, but I can talk to him from below the ledge. Let's do that. The future is what we make of it, Lord Saranoa. May the partnership with your house prove long and fruitful. As I see it, the mines are merely the beginning. We have much work to do, and I pray I can count on your assistance going forward. And I yours, in fact. Hey! You want to join my army? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm, I'm being kind of... <laughs> but still, recruitable games, man. I've been teaching all the others what I gleaned from all the reading. Oh, wow, this miner is a scholar. You should talk to Quarantine. Okay, here's Eridor. It's hard labor. 
<laughs> yeah, see, look, Eridor wants them in your army too. So I'm just saying, all these miners should just join my army and then, you know, Dragon will have no choice. How come I can't talk to this guy? Oh, I can. We're paid for the iron we mine, so I'd better break off. Ah, capitalism. <laughs> Interesting. 1010 <laughs> recruitment pitch. Thank you, thank you. I, I do try my best. <laughs> I mean, clearly it was at least a 9 out of 10, because it didn't work. <laughs> Dragon is not in my army. Paid for the iron we mine, so I'd better break off a big chunk of ore. Or better yet, find a rich vein. That's true. Um, I like the gameplay of these games, so I'm kind of okay with the choices and the multiple routes. I am also the sort of person who loves 100%ing things. So like, you know, in Three Houses, for example, I was like, I'm gonna play all of the four routes. Let's go! <laughs> But yeah, I can understand why if you don't like replaying games, it could definitely be something of a drag. Definitely in like Three Houses, for example, the first half of the game is the same, um, or pretty much the same. So um, yeah, not too useful to replay. Only miners past this point, sir. This is where the secret stuff was. Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> Y'all know the meme, don't you? Okay, um, oh, I saw an examine down there. Give me that sparkly. Oh, the Vanguard scarf thingy! I heard about this! I saw a meme about this. Wait, how do I how do I go to the menu and figure out what it is? Yeah, I've been trying to avoid as many spoilers as possible for this game, but the one thing I did manage to get spoiled for is that the Vanguard Scarf, whatever it is, is good. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Guarantees first action at the start of battle. What does that mean? Like your first action is determined to succeed? Like you get like a 100% hit rate? Oh, or does it mean that you always get to go first? Ooh. That would be super buff, actually. I, I think that would be really OP. I wonder if it just guarantees the complete accuracy of your first move, or if it guarantees that you get to go first. Okay, well, either way, um... You always want the guy who buffs to go first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I can buff, um... Probably that you get to go first. Yeah. <laughs> you go first every time. Ooh, that is actually really nice. Wow, okay, good to know. Um, hmm... Yeah, definitely the guy who buffs. So as the man who buffs, I will give this to Benedict. Um, I'll probably maybe uh, buff, I don't know. Mm, not really worth buffing Anna, because take cover is now a thing. So, uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out when I see the layout of the army. But yeah, that's, that's going to be good, actually. That's quite nice. Wow. Let's see you go first. Oh, it's another sparkly. Hold on. Okay. I got one stone. <laughs> wow, I, every time I spend money and buy one of these materials things, I get that exact material like five seconds afterwards, which kind of sucks. Okay, I think I have explored the entire mines and talked to everyone, so let's... Oh wait, are there doors? Are there side things? I do keep forgetting you can rotate the map, so... <laughs> gonna have to remember that. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything else. Okay, let's leave. Everything appears in order, as expected. Okay, recommended level 5. Are there any stories I'm missing? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh yeah, that's fair. If you don't like the school portion, yeah, I can see why. Um, especially the first half of the game would be kind of a drag. No words yeah, I'm, for some reason I am a fan of the school portion. I think even though like I really went into 3H with tons of Fire Emblem experience, I didn't feel like it was too against the kind of like core mechanics of the game, but then again, yeah, I can see why that would be a thing. No, sir. I've not seen a single soul emerge from the mine. Very well then. I shall make contact with them myself. Ah! Oh. What? Was that? It came from within. They awoke the Balrog. I knew it. <laughs> you should never dig too deep in mines. <laughs> it's a Balrog of Morgoth. Oh yeah, I, I suppose I never mentioned I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. <laughs> Wait, who's that? Is that assassins? Oh, they're all assassins! As frosty soldiers. Why are they at the mine? No. Did he see through my plot? Who, Gustadol? Clear the mine. Leave no survivors. Ooh. Ooh. So this is how they respond. Those dogs. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> The audiobook for Lord of the Rings? Ooh, nice, yeah. Um, it's... I... 
I will say, like, I'm, once again, I am one of those fans. <laughs> I have read all of the stuff regarding Lord of the Rings. I have read the Silmarillion. I have read all the background information, all that stuff. Um, but I, even, even I, who loves reading those books so much, I can say the story is a bit, like, I, I, some people might find it boring. Um, so if you don't like reading it, like, nothing against that, but, uh, but I do recommend it. And the movies are great too, which is amazing. Oh, Andy Serkis, yeah, he's the guy who plays the Gollum and also directed the Hobbit films, I think, right? Um, he's really cool, and uh, yeah, I guess he would have a great voice. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it was narrated by Andy Serkis, that's actually really chill. I'll admit, I haven't really listened to an audiobook um, anytime recently, actually. I should probably do that. Audiobooks seem like a great way to get, you know, reading done um, when you kind of don't have the time. Yeah, it is super dry and <laughs> kind of detailed. I, I have read um, the entire history behind Lord of the Rings. It's in this book called The Silmarillion. Um, <laughs> I am <laughs> I'm one of the folks who will rattle off Lord of the Rings facts, but like hold myself back from it because I know that it's going to piss people off. Um, but yeah, if you've seen the memes, I'm definitely the sort of person who's like, Aragorn broke his toe during the helmet scene. Yeah, I, I would I would do that. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, um, where are the biggest baddies? And who should I... Oh, Dragon is just chilling here. Can I control... No, he's a green unit. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why they gotta be like this? Okay, um, he's... So is this why this chapter is hard? <laughs> this must be why this chapter is hard. Okay, um, hmm. And these two get to go first? Are you kidding me? They can both hit him before he can move. Oh my gosh. This is, um, oh man, is Isiria, Isiria. Uh, yeah, there's a level in, um, in a different Fire Emblem game, uh, called, Frick, we were talking about this just, uh, like, two days ago, and I've already forgotten the name. Was it Battle Before Dawn? Uh, Dragon was the unit you were talking about. Oh no. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. See, uh, there's another one that's actually worse than this. Um, in Fire Emblem 7, there is a level where you have um, a guy trapped in... Okay, so there's like a guy in a room that literally can't do damage because um, he's like a young kid. And then there's a girl outside that place um, who you get to recruit kind of early on. And then there's like an assassin spy type character that's between the two. And all three of them are green units. And there's assassins everywhere in the whole like mansion place. Um, oh gosh, and they like, and the, at least the mage runs away and the kid stays in his room, but the assassin type freaking like gets into, he tries to take out enemies and he just does not have the evasion to get out, out of those mages, so yeah, that level was um, definitely terrible, at least this will be slightly worse. Okay, so Benedict gets to go first. Um, hmm. I do want to buff someone immediately, probably Eridor, and then maybe send Eridor out into the middle of some enemies and take them out. Um, I also do want to get the... Uh, oh, okay, see, the thing is, the best strategy in triangle strategy is probably just to, like, waste the enemy's turns. <laughs> but I can't do that, because I need to get Dragon away from there. Uh, there's no warp in this game either, so, hmm. Fast characters to the front, or defensive characters to the front? Okay, probably going to use Eridor then. Let's put Benedict here as well. Um, ooh, Wheel of Time book narrated by Rosamund Pike. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, there is an Amazon show now. I'm quite behind the times in, turn of, uh, in terms of Wheel of Time. <laughs> um, but yeah, ooh, Mythos books narrated by Stephen Fry, who's also the... I'll have to give that a, I'll have to give that a check out. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, yeah, I definitely don't want to initiate against the enemy right now. Um, so let's figure out who the big bads are. This guy seems powerful. Um, 109, so gonna try to avoid him, maybe. Is this the, uh... So we've got one battle mage who is Ice. Ice boy. Hey, guess who I have? I have Quarantine. <laughs> let's go! <laughs> Quarantine has ice resistance. But, um, I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna be decently powerful and it won't matter. <laughs> ah, well. Um, let's see... Oh wow, Ice Arrow. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like these guys are all, what, weak to fire? Okay. Um, so maybe catching... Oh no, it's just this guy, huh? Okay, cure Wounds. Mighty Strike. What does that do? Hopefully nothing too bad. Mm. Just a normal thing. Okay. Um, same thing here. Okay. What can Dragon do? He is a fire dude. Hmm. That is um, unfortunate, actually. <laughs> Uh, because I think that makes him... Oh, he doesn't have the weak to ice thing, actually. That's kind of cool. Like, he's just not weak to ice. Hmm. Okay, well, these guys seem to be your generic swordsmen. Um, are all of the archers ice arrows? No, this guy is a poison arrow. Wow. 
Um, what's a jump bangle? Increases jump by one. Oh, I guess it just lets you scale cliffs. That's kind of scary. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't... Um... Wait, he's an archer. Why does he even need to scale cliffs? The heck, man? All right, whatever. I, I won't. Uh, I won't question it. Okay. Uh, magic defense low on armor knights as usual. Okay. Um, now we have two randos in the corner here. But uh, see, if I if I didn't have Dragon, then the best strategy would clearly to be um, would clearly be put my strong units here, get these two dead, um, and then return and face these guys while I take out the four in the corner. But um, yeah, not gonna work now. Okay, uh, here's what I'll do. <laughs> the high ground. Yeah, exactly. I, I do want to capture this high ground. Which, uh, is what essentially I would do while attempting to go after these guys. Um, yeah, you know what? I can still do that. So let's, let's get, um, let's get Eridor going after everyone else. Who else is fast? Anna is. So you're gonna go here. Uh, Saranoa can probably take on some people on his own. Maybe with, um... Huh. Maybe with Roland? They can stand back to back and at least guard this one area. No, I need a mage here, though. Uh... <laughs> Mandatory SW. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like there's only a certain number of times I can make the it's over Anakin joke, but... <laughs> but you know what? I'm not gonna let that stop me. Um, I will be saying it's over Anakin. I have the high ground as many times as possible, please. Uh, but yeah, let's just leave this area open, because like, what can these guys even do? They're gonna have to come all the way around if I wanna, um, if they wanna get me. So, high ground, um, right. I can't use Huet too well in this area at all until I get that high ground. Um, I don't want Anna going first either. Okay, uh, I do need two mages here, maybe, to take out this armor. Um, and I don't think there are any armors over here. Go back, go back, I wanna move. Okay, um, yeah, how much... Magic defense 7, magic defense go back. Magic defense 6, physical 7, 7, 6, yeah. 8, 7. Okay, so it looks like these guys are all kind of uh, attack or magic or whatever is all fine, so let's keep my mages in this corner. Oh, there's an archer up there. The heck are you doing? Oh, he's just chilling. Like, literally. Wow, and he can fire into this entire. Oh, that is good. Alright, I know where I'm putting Huet. Oh, but Huet is weak to arrows, isn't she? Are flyers weak to arrows in this game? I think they are. Yep. Mm. That is unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Blinding arrow would be nice. Um, seven. And this guy is, what, 21? Okay, he goes after a while. Okay. Let's go. Um, yeah, I think this is fine, probably. And I can go first and take cover. Won't get hit by anyone. Um, Eridor is going to go afterwards. Uh, Anna can scale the cliff on the right. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. I have not looked into their climbing abilities of any sort. Um, jump four. Can I switch through? Yeah, I can. Jump, uh, 32. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> two, 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 two. Oh, wait, someone has three. Benedict can apparently jump up entire buildings because, if I remember correctly, the height of a building was, like, three. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, if Anna can scale a cliff, then I know exactly who I'm sending up there. Thanks. That is some good logic here. I think it's probably 13 to 17. Yeah, this cliff right here seems scalable by Anna. Not this one, so I'm gonna have to move all the way over there. Uh, probably take a drop point over there too. So let's switch um, Anna to maybe over here. I'll go stand here-ish on my first turn. Um, yeah, you know what? I could actually send out someone else first. Does anyone have any reposition type skills here? Rush. Physical damage? No, I don't think they do. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Huet definitely on this side. The two mages seems kind of bad. I do want to tank over here, but I can't really do that. Um, so I guess the hope is just that this guy will walk forward three steps and then not hit anyone. Uh, I guess he has to hit someone. Hmm. Who do I want to take the first hit? <laughs> with Benedict's movement buff, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Rush moves you three spaces. That is true. If I could send Roland in, though, he's just gonna get hit by these people. Mm. Or was it four spaces? Something like that? Yeah, I think it was four squares in a straight line dealing... Yeah, so three spares more than usual, for sure, yeah. Um, 
but not gonna be too useful here. I don't think there's any like really wide spaces that I can use it on at the moment. Uh, hmm. I'm thinking actually for this level, maybe of just trying to give my uh, give my go first thingy to Eridor. Because I'll need a tank, like, fast. But Dragon will run away by then, right? Right? Okay, you know what? Let's just try the level out, and if I TPK, I TPK, and that's okay. Um, actually, let's save first. Let's think smart and save first. That's how this game works. Here we go. Um, I don't mind overriding this save. And we begin... Oh, wait. Inventories, please. Okay, I think I've given all my stuff. Um, probably not to the people who need it. Yeah, that's that's kind of bad. Let's uh, remove that. Give HP ring to our good friend, the tank. Okay. Um, now what? Uh, ice amulet increases ice resistance by 30%. That's kind of nice. And I want it on the people who will be fighting the ice guys. So... <laughs> Eridor. <laughs> Should I just buff Eridor? Uh, kind of worth. D does an ice arrow do magic damage? Oh, I hope it doesn't. Da -da 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 -da. Check the unit placement. Ice type physical damage. Nice. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's let's make Eridor an archer tank, and just send him out there. I think all of these people who do any type of damage are ice mages. And that one's a healer. And these two are blade guys. Okay, yeah, let's just buff the hell out of Eridor. That's what I'm gonna do, that's my strategy. <laughs> uh, ice amulet. Eridor. Here you go, boy. I left you out of the last battle and this is my penance. Okay, now we save. Now we save. <laughs> Never forget to save. And let's go! And as always, if I die, I die. Oh, I want to read the notes. I'm going to have to do that at some point. Why have my convictions been strengthened? What did I do? <laughs> I decided to fight, I guess. That's probably a conviction. Protect Lord Dragan! I agree. Ooh, inaction bonus. What? What is this? Okay. End your next turn without moving or using the command. The time until your next turn will be reduced by the following amounts. Kneel movement. No commands used. Both. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll keep that in mind. No movement. No commands used. 20%, huh? I Not bad. Not bad history. indeed. Okay. Well, um, a step forward. Um, what do I want here? So that's movement and jump. Uh, did I restart? Um, what do you mean? Let's see, physical defense. Um, I hadn't started yet. <laughs> that was just the beginning. <laughs> you see, great plans are made. Um, wait, hold on. There's a quote for this. There's definitely a quote for this. Ah, yes. I'm always three steps ahead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we spent so long in prep. Yeah, I, that's, that's how I roll, man. <laughs> I probably will spend that long in prep and still end up, um, still end up realizing that something in my strategy was completely off and that I'm not going to be able to do this properly. But hey, you know what? That's, that's just how the game goes. Okay, can I go down from this height if I were to jump here? It looks like yes, because a jump of four is super nice. But um, yeah, let's take cover and wait. I think I can spend that right now. Um, that's two turns, so I'll have essentially two more turns to get up to that level. Um, should be fine because I won't be attacking until then. Um, and yeah, and turn it is. Hopefully I'll go again soon. Okay, uh, now let's see what these guys can do. Apparently they can start nice to kill Dragon immediately. I hope he's smart and runs away. Yeah, I have no choice but to just put Roland in here. Um, actually, I do have a choice. I can wait. <laughs> Alright, so the, the question is, can this healer... Okay, the healer cannot attack Dragon. Dragon, hopefully, if he has some sense, is going to step away at the next round. Um... You know what, I'll try this for now. Um, I do want to get rid of the 17 on the cliff over there, but it's not the... Uh... If it's a fight, <laughs> My talking speed. I talk pretty fast, that's true. Um... Oh, he does it! He runs away! Do they Great, I love you. Alliance? Perfect. Dragon, you want to you wanna join my army? <laughs> I'm really harping on this. Um, 
Yeah, I talk really fast because um, first of all, I kind of grew up with that. But that uh, second of all, I started um, I started I getting into kind of like succeed. teaching and uh, like in my actual job and not in video games. But <laughs> getting into teaching and kind of like uh, talking about things and yeah, it just it makes you talk a lot faster for off. some reason, or at least it makes me. I don't know if it works on everyone. Okay, they can't get me from over here. Can I shoot him? I can. This is kind of nice. This arrow guy can hit me though, so maybe not worth. Um, well, let's see. How far can I get into this little hole over here? And I do lose some accuracy. Oh no, I, I get. I definitely get targeted by this archer. This archer, ruining my plans, thwarting my plans one by one. How could you? I trusted you. Actually, I didn't. Uh, okay. Um, I don't want these mages to get hit. So, <laughs> do I talk too fast? Is it difficult to understand me? I'll slow down if it is. Uh, it is definitely a conscious choice, but I do like talking fast. It makes more information happen at a um, more fun pace <laughs> for me, I suppose. <laughs> Short bow, blinding arrow, maybe, maybe these guys? Maybe not. Maybe I stand here, um, get, well, I do want to shoot number five, of course, um, and I don't want both of them to get me. Eleven is gonna rush maybe like Frederica because both Frederica and oh you know what I need to be knocking down the HP of number eleven first actually so um, I should probably I should probably blinding arrow eleven oh no I should probably ah uh, you know what not really sure hmm okay if I blind if I don't blind eleven and he actually gets a turn to attack that would be pretty bad so um hmm. Uh, auditorium. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, um, yeah, it's a, I mean, it's good that I'm clear. <laughs> it's also great that <laughs> this is working out, I think. Uh, yeah, I mean, I also, I like making commentary. What can I say? <laughs> there's a lot to comment on on this game for sure. Like there's a lot of story, which I'm really enjoying. And then there's also a lot of tactical decisions, which I am very, um, uh, very down for. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying. Uh, thanks so much. I will be continuing to comment then at, um, Whatever pace works, I suppose. <laughs> okay, blinding 11 might be the best choice here, um, just because I do want to get his HP down, and I don't think both Frederica and Quarantine together can take him out. Like, I'm not sure. I'm not able to particularly test that out. So, yeah, but it sucks, though, because I really want to blind this guy so I don't have to worry about him. Um, actually, yeah, let's let's blind. Let's attempt to blind. Actually, this could miss. It looks like 90% chance of hitting, though, so... Darkness you. There we go. Darkness did engulf him, so I win. Okay, I, I don't win, but you know. Uh, what that? Defeat is not an option. What did we just heal someone? Oh, that's right. Um, this guy was hurt. All right. Defeat is not an option. I kind of disagree, Serano. I, I have to tell you. Okay, let's heal Dragon, because his survival is apparently important to this game. Unlike my entire army. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, you get a minor recovery pellet, please. I ain't wasting none of that. No, I'm kidding. I like him. I would have given you one, but you ran away. So. Okay, um, these guys are approaching from the back. Um, maybe I should leave Eridor as a kind of rear guard. That might become necessary. Yeah, especially since I can't move forward because I blocked off all my own spaces. Oh my gosh. Why, why am I like this? Uh, Roland. Roland, I trusted you. Hmm. All right, rear guard you are. This is how strategies must adapt in the face of battle. Where's that archer who is over here too? Okay, he's in the corner. Uh, rear guard can stand right here, perhaps? Oh, this sucks. Eridor is definitely supposed to be in front. I prepped him for that. Why? Why, I say. Uh, I am tempted to use a quietest point for just this. To move up here and then use a quietest point to take a step forward. Um, maybe I'll do it later. Or maybe I'll just wait here and not use a command, which will make me go 20% faster. Is that worth it? Do, 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 do. Scroll in. Scroll in some more. Where the hell is Eridor? He just does not get to go next. Okay, there we are. 25. Okay, what's 20% of 25? Um, 5. I can do math. <laughs> um, so, five steps faster is pretty good, isn't it? That's like right after Saranoa. 
That's before... Who are these people? None of them are important. Never mind. Not good. Not worth. Yeah, this sucks. Okay, well, when I play this game again, or when I play this level again, depending, um, I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Doing math fast. <laughs> uh, but yeah, also, uh, when I play this game again, I guess I will... Uh... <laughs> not do this <laughs> and the strategies were up uh, upended by by my own deficiency alas okay you know what i'll just cast sprint on myself and run on the next turn okay this is the best i'm gonna get Push on through. okay fine just wait here it's okay if i die i die i shall do what i can all right healer you stand all the way over here cure wounds oh i can't reach that is sad i did expect the reaching to happen i'd have to move a step forward if i actually wanted to do that um Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I actually, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I, I think I got more used to uh, minor pieces of math just by the pure virtue of playing Fire Emblem. Uh, especially Thank since you. after a certain level in school, you know, you don't really get into too much math anymore. Um, especially if you're working on the kind of math that doesn't really involve Allow numbers. Me. Ooh, what was that? Okay, now we got our mages, and uh, hey, look at that, the enemies have positioned themselves perfectly. Time to take some magic damage. Okay, um, Scorch. That does about a little less than half. I wanted a bit more than that. Um, quite sad. And I also would have liked it if Quarantine went first, because then I could get some ice... Oh wait, no, 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 this is fine, actually. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right here, uh, and then I'll have at least like a kind of ice guard when I start to attack these guys. Uh, yeah, actually, in fact, I'll take two steps forward, and then they'll have lowered accuracy when I attempt to get attacked by them. So I'm gonna move Frederica one step forward, and then they can't, you know, double me, because that would be a problem. So yeah, let's Scorch here, and then I'll Ice on the same location. Which should cause a lowered accuracy on all of them, I think. Okay, uh, oh, you know what, but it doesn't fit the pattern nicely. I'm gonna have to move Quarantine up into that space, and I don't want to do that. Mmm... I can do this. Okay, I'll, I'll do that next round then. Yeah, uh, well, we'll see, first of all, how much magic damage Quarantine can do. It might not be a lot, in which case I'll be kind of screwed. Um, I see breath, I'll see... Oh, there's the Wall of Ice thing. Um, I'm gonna use that next turn, so not now. Uh, magic type single enemy, magic type all enemies, this is what I want. Yeah, looks like it'll take another turn to get rid of both of these guys. Um, okay, 18 is at least blinded, and I do aim, on, aim to decrease his accuracy by uh, icing the place. So let's do that. Huet will probably just stand there and act as a bit of a defensive barrier while um, Quarantine leaves, because I think I can get rid of both of these guys with Frederica. Um, Quarantine's gonna be more use over here, I think. Probably casting ice walls. Maybe, um, how big are the ice walls? Uh, how big are the ice walls? I can't check, can I? Sad, I have to move in before I can check. Okay, well, either way, I'll block off the enemy up here, so let's move. Alright, that should be fine. Um, and Quarantine does have ice resistance, which is quite... no oh, 31 damage. Well, at least they attack different people. Try my level best. Okay, some buffs. Let's start doling out some buffs. Who gets buffed? Uh, you know what? I do need to cast the movement buff on Anna so she can climb the cliff on that side. You are very right, Isaria. Hmm. But that puts me in some definite danger. And Roland is gonna need some help because 4 and 5 are coming after him. And I can't predict where Dragon is gonna move. Well, I can at least move one step to the side with Roland and take my chance to go a little bit earlier by not using a command. Um, so maybe not. Can I even get near Anna then? I can stand here, on the ground below Anna, and probably still buff. Uh, yeah, I just, I need a movement buff on Anna, because the now the new cliff that I need to scale is up here and it's 5. And Anna can only jump at a height of 4, I think. Yeah, oh wait, wait, I didn't check. Yeah, 4 jump, um, and this is the cliff I wanted to scale. Um, looks like I can kind of still get there, actually. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Anna can hold her own. I'm gonna believe in Anna. I definitely don't want to stand down here. And I want to leave this space open so that Roland can stand here. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Okay, I'll buff Saranoa. I think Saranoa needs the attack. 
<laughs> in Anna we trust. <laughs> hey, excuse me. You're listening to a quarantine simp channel here. It is in quarantine that we trust. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Anna's great. I actually do really love her. Um, increase movement and jump. How much does the movement get increased? Is it like a decent amount? Because I could just buff Serenoa and send him in. Ah, oh, that's probably not worth. Okay, let's just increase physical defense. Um, a brief rest. Much appreciated. And wait here. Okay, take cover ran out. No, it didn't. Did it? I can't even tell. Oh, it's still in effect. Actually, I have two more turns of it. That's good. Um, I'll let her charge up some more of... Can I stack take cover? Ooh. I don't want to lose the remaining two turns, and I don't think you can stack it, so I'm going to wait. On the next turn, I'll have one remaining, and then I can test if I can stack it or not. Uh, one jump, one movement square. Ooh. I might need the movement buff. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Either way, I am on this level, so I'll be able to get up there on the next turn, so it should be fine. Uh, take cover still in effect. Okay, we're good. I won't so here. Move. Roland. Okay, um, I'm gonna move you maybe next to Dragon. Um, yeah, uh, where's my healer? 15. Ooh. You know what? I need speed on that healer. <laughs> That's what I need. Okay, um,. Just for fun, let's see how much damage he can do to these people. Okay, that's not too much, but it's not too bad. Oh, that's the bowmen too. Oh gosh, the bowmen usually don't have bowmen. What, what's the plural of bowmen? <laughs> uh, but yeah, they usually don't have too much defense, so it's kind of sad that um, it's not even a lot of damage on him. Okay, looks like I can do about mm, meager amounts of damage. Yeah, I want Eridor doing this damage, so I'm going to wait. Um, not all the way back here, maybe. Uh... Bowman. <laughs> it is, is it just Bowman? I used to have a teacher named Bowman. If there were multiples of those teacher, would it be Bowman? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, can 2 and 3 even hit me? I don't think they can. They're just going to run forward here, and I'm going to block off this area with Eridor and someone else. Who is the someone else? It might just have to be Roland. I don't think I have anyone else who has physical defense. Other than... Yeah, I guess <laughs> it should have been Benedict, actually. But yeah, obviously, um, Eridor... Oh, Serenoa is good. Okay, Serenoa will take mm, uh, some number of steps forward. Oh, you know what? Three can hit Dragon on the next turn. Two cannot, but three can. Uh, actually, that's a good thing. If two moves forward to hit... Sorry, three. If three moves forward to hit Dragon on the next turn, he'll be on the ice square, which means he has lowered accuracy, um, and hopefully Dragon will run away afterwards, which will leave that space open for Serenoa to show up. Um, so I think that's actually a good sign. I'm gonna move Roland here. Let's just make some bad decisions and wait for them to play out. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's how this works. That's how this game works. Okay, move forward like I asked you to. Three, go attack Dragon. He didn't do it! He's smart! No! <laughs> he didn't take my bait! Ugh. Yeah, see, the thing about this game uh, versus, you know, most of the Fire Emblem games is that I'm aware of how the enemy moves usually in Fire Emblem. It is a lot harder in this game when I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, 23 is just chillin'. He's gonna come after me soon. It's just been... hmm. Well, okay, uh... I will do something about him with Benedict. Because Benedict has some defense. Yeah, let's... I'll do that. I can maybe send Benedict, maybe Quarantine to throw up a, like a quick wall over here or something. Um, and then maybe Benedict down over here. Which uh, I can buff someone with. <laughs> maybe Gila, since I'll need the health. Yeah, we'll find out. Um, in fact, actually, if I want to move Benedict to this specific square, can Quarantine go down here? Um, yeah, so it looks like Quarantine can probably create a wall right here. Um, and these two spaces at least. I think, yeah. Uh, and that means I need one person standing here to block off this entire hallway. Uh, if I make that into Benedict, he can just kind of chill at this specific location, which means I need someone standing right here to get buffed by Benedict. Um, can it be Huet? Not really. I don't think it's worth casting Blinding Arrow on this guy. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to actually just wait, and Benedict can either buff himself or just waste his turn there, um, and then like get another turn quicker. Okay, uh, stand here, let's blind... Can I actually kill him? I can. Okay, good, so I'll be taking out 7. Uh, I'm pretty sure Frederica alone can take out 16, so I don't need to worry too much about them, and let's focus on staying away from that particular or archer in the corner. Yeah, number 14 over there is a problem. Hopefully Anna gets rid of him soon. Um, looks like I can move all the way over to the square next to Quarantine and still be safe. Okay. 
So can I do that and still reach seven? I don't think so. In fact, I think I need the critical hit in order to get him. That is sad. Let's take a step back and find out. Um, yeah, short bow. Yep, looks like I do need the critical hit to kill him. Uh, or at least the return from, uh, <laughs> from Frederica. <laughs> and let's go for it. Oh, but I'm in range of the archer. Ugh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. How about all the way back here? I'm still in range of the archer. Okay, how much damage can he do, really, right? Like, can he, like, one-hit KO Huet? Probably not, right? Even if I'm weak to archers, she probably has some defense. Physical defense 9. Yeah, that's like Sarah Noah's level. Should be alright. Alright, well, let's, yeah. let's do this. Um, we'll take the loss if we have to, of course. Chris. Okay. Let's go, Dragon! Okay, um, now I set up my wall. It's gonna be Sarah Noah and Eridor with, um... Ooh, but then Roland doesn't get to attack, and I also don't have anyone to, um... Protect me, I guess. <laughs> uh, where's Quarantine? Oh, I can't use Quarantine to make the wall because I need, um... I need, uh... Yeah, I definitely need Quarantine to, to cast spells here. I don't have anyone else who can attack at- Oh, Roland can attack at 2 range, can't he? I think he can. Yeah, the lance is 2 range. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, actually, uh, <laughs> see, I was- I was taking kills, um, earlier on in this game because I couldn't quite predict the enemy and I hadn't, you know, played this type of game before, but I am trying to minimize losses. I'm not playing an Iron Man just yet, but minimizing losses for sure. Let's delay these guys. Um, oh, what does Hawk's Eyes do? Is it just a better- Oh, it's an attack that goes up to minus five plus five. Whoa, whoa there. I still can't hit the guy on the cliff, but <laughs> but still. Um, delaying tactics, yeah. Should be fine. Let's delay the guy in front. Um, at least Sarah Noah gets to go again before he does. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> you don't get to move. All right, and we stand here. Um, okay, we have our people coming. Benedict will have to buff himself with- Ooh, okay, um, there are archers in the corner. That is true. Oh, that is bad. Yikes. Okay, well, at least I have Eridor. Um, if I provoke both of these guys, I'll hopefully be wasting some people's turns, which is exactly what I want to do. Let's provoke. There we go. Um, facing forward is the only thing you can do. Um, healer. Yeah, I guess I did want to use this on someone else, but Roland is my only option now, so Roland it is. I can't do it, can I? sucks. I can't reach Roland. He's one space away. Oh no. <laughs> Why? Why is it like this? Um, Iron Man on hardest difficulty? It depends. It depends on how much I like this story and how much I feel like replaying it. Um, but we'll see. I am kind of considering it. Ugh. Do I leave my healer in the view of both of these archers just to get a heal on Roland? I wish Quarantine went first because I want to be standing right where he is. Mm, this is bad. Well, <laughs> uh, Huet is definitely all the way in that corner, um, so I have lost some mobility with this, but um, it's fine. Number five isn't going to do much, right? And Sarah Noah might actually die pretty quickly. Maybe I should let Roland do his own healing, since he gets to go before pretty much everyone else here. I can heal Sarah Noah instead and let him take some of the attack. Whittle down these enemies. Hmm. Yeah, not great, but it is my best option at the moment, unless I can step... Yeah, it is definitely... Huh. Uh, hmm, I guess, yeah, over here it is, probably. Uh, JRPG Game of Thrones. Ooh, I didn't know that existed. Is, is that a thing? They have a JRPG Game of Thrones? Interesting. <laughs> Break out into YouTube with it. <laughs> true, true. Um... Don't know about making a YouTube series just yet. It does take a lot of commitment, and I uh, I do have a full time job at the moment, which takes up pretty much all of my time. <laughs> I'm honestly just happy entertaining people in whatever way I can. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think it might make a good YouTube series for sure. I mean, a lot of people love Game of Thrones. I have read the books. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't really watch the TV show, so I'm pretty behind. <laughs> and I heard that it diverged from the books at Your some point too, which. Um, which is interesting. I, I feel like a lot of shows don't do that. Like, a lot of shows are kind of scared to diverge from the books. But it makes sense, since the guy hasn't written a book in, like, I don't know, years. Probably a decade. <laughs> uh, Scorch. Let's see. Um, oh, it's kind of, like, basically Game of Thrones. It's not necessarily based on Game of Thrones. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, you can't have read the books. 
they're not <laughs> yeah yeah I, I read all the books that exist and I yeah the guy hasn't written a book in like I don't know 10 years right I think I read the last I, book five or something um back when oh man it was a while ago <laughs> it was when they were kind of newish and it was still like ooh, the books exist um but yeah they're definitely not new anymore okay the question is how close do I want to bring Frederica to I keep saying the question is I think that's my catchphrase now the question is what is the question uh, I'm gonna move maybe Frederica all the way down here, but I will get attacked by both 11 and 13. It really sucks that these mages are so freaking slow. Why? Oh yeah, I heard so much about the terrible ending of Game of Thrones. Um, I actually, uh, so I, as I said, I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. And that, um, that means that when Game of Thrones was ending, um, all of the Lord of the Rings fans were treated to an amazing display of people going, what the heck just happened? What is this? <laughs> and it was actually pretty great. Like, everyone was like, wait, why did Lord of the Rings um, end so, you know, I mean, I, I can't say well because I'm a fan of the series and I'd be biased, but yeah, it ended well. Um, and, you know, Game of Thrones did not get that chance. Okay, so it looks like my wall is actually three length, which is perfect because freaking watch this. Hold on. Um, stand here, wall of ice. Uh, let's go! Let's go! I think this just blocks off everyone, doesn't it? <laughs> um, this is exactly what I plan to do, and this is why I want quarantine. Okay, meanwhile, you can, um, face away- By the way, these walls don't last forever, they- Oh, I killed Roland! Okay, died. I am many sad. Uh, hold on, hold on. Gotta update my death count. <laughs> uh, death count, death count. Let's add a skull to the pile. <laughs> Oh gosh. There we go. Look at that. Just uh, one more one more body thrown on the pile. Did you know, actually, I've been losing exactly two people in every match. Um, I've been keeping track. And I think with the addition of Roland, um, Roland, Gila, uh, Frederica, and Sarah Noah have all died exactly twice. So, you know, this is fine. I'm keeping things even. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Now all I need to do is uh, get Quarantine killed. And if I get Quarantine killed, then all five of the people I have killed will have been killed twice in different maps. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. That's, it's not my strategy, obviously. Clearly, this is very clear. Um, okay, mm, what do I do? I want to keep Dragon alive. Right now, four and six are going to spend their time hacking away at this wall. Um, hopefully, Quarantine will have Wall of Ice charged up again, and I can literally just keep this area blocked. So, I have Benedict free. Benedict, who are you going to buff? I feel like maybe Sarah Noah needs some defense since he's just standing there. And Benedict can kind of hold his own, so let's go for it, maybe. Um, okay, Raging Beast is Strength, uh, Physical and Magic. There we go, that's what Let I want. Okay, um, I probably will need to buff myself, and by myself I mean Benedict, but it's fine. I'll face this way. Okay, now now I go for the kill, let's go! Where? How is this guy facing? Um, quick question, should the text in the bottom right be updating, or is that not applicable? Bottom right... Oh, you mean the total unit deaths? Uh, does it look like there are nine skulls next to the, uh, skull counter? Because that is the accurate number of skulls. Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's hard to count skulls. When I get to ten, I'm gonna update it to just a number. <laughs> I don't think, uh, like, ten skulls is a lot. Um, they were supposed to fill. Ooh, oh no, it's not a it's not a death counter, it's just literally the number of deaths. <laughs> I'll I'll write it in as a number after this. <laughs> they were supposed to fill. That would be pretty badass, TBH. Um maybe I'll have to do that. I'll have to get him to fill up or something. Okay, uh the question is which arrow is which which direction is his archer facing? Oh, he's smart. He's smart. He knows he can get attacked. He's facing away. That's <laughs> that's actually hilarious because in terms of real life, he's just casually looking away from the battle <laughs> where everyone is. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, Frick. <laughs> uh, maybe make it a command so we can do it. Ooh, um, I didn't know that was a thing. Thanks for letting me know. I'm going to look that up and do it by next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great idea. Thanks. <laughs> Death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You should... Um, <laughs> there should be a mechanic to... Um, cause pain upon my UI. <laughs> I'll, I'll put that in my uh, thing for next- I'm actually- I'm definitely streaming tomorrow, I think from 4 to 6 or something. Today I'm actually free for a bit longer, I was supposed to end at 9, but you'll notice it is exactly 9, and I am still going. I'm gonna keep going until maybe either I die or I finish this battle. <laughs> okay, um, throw poison maybe, um, or take cover again. I have one extra turn of take cover. Uh, let's poison the bowman. If I need to take cover next time, at least I'll only take one attack. Wait, where was that random mage who was in the corner? 
Oh no, where did he go? <laughs> where did he go? Oh no, where? What? 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 Oh, it's this guy. I think it's this guy. Wait, no. Where the frick did that healer go? Does the healer have take cover or something? Or was I just hallucinating that entire healer? Was there not a healer in this corner? Uh... Oh, continuing the story segment? Ooh, okay, okay. I'll do it, I'll do it. I mean, if I can finish this battle. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you seem to be counting upon my success, and while I am confident, sort of, in my success, <laughs> I won't let that, um lead to my hubris, or however you pronounce that word, because I do not know. The plot thickens right after this? Ooh, okay, okay, I love it when the plot thickens. Do love me some thick plot. Uh, let's poison this guy and maybe take cover <laughs> afterwards if I need to. Um, he is poisoned. That's good. Uh, hmm. It's gonna take a lot of turns to kill him. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, how ominous, indeed. <laughs> yeah, I think to myself, hmm, <laughs> the plot thickens, huh? All right, all right, I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> take cover or not to take cover. I do need to take cover. But, you know, I can also get this guy to waste his arrows on me. Oh, I should have faced the other way. Actually, no, it wouldn't make a difference. I'm gonna take cover. If Anna dies up there, there's nothing I can do. So I'm taking cover. Uh, and it doesn't matter which way I face, so I'll just look at him. Why... Why was that why was that exclamation mark on that guy? Here I come. Okay, the walls are starting to be broken, that's fine. Uh Huet can also probably do some damage to number 14 over here. Let's see if I can contribute. Nope. Never mind. Sad. <laughs> uh Wow, what can I even do then? I am definitely wasting this high movement ally, which really sucks. But there is nothing I can do at the moment. Mmm. Also really sucks that Roland is dead, because this is exactly when I need Roland. I need someone to be attacking in this corner. Uh, Dragon at number 5. Yeah, he's kind of chill. He's not in the range of anyone at the moment. Except for number 7, who is a bowman. Oof. Hmm. Okay, I'll start making my way around. I think that's the only option here. I don't want to lose these two things, but I can definitely pick them up later. And ooh, looks like it shoot over walls. Hey there, bro. You wanna be blinded? <laughs> okay. Looks like we're fine here. Um, gonna start hacking away at the wall. That's right. It'll take him two hits to get through it. Where um, we heals. That is bad. Um, yeah. Oh, man. I want Roland. This is why I wanted Roland. Because Roland can do this stuff. Uh, okay. Physical damage to a single enemy away is probably a good idea. I want to get rid of this bowman as soon as possible. So let's hawk dive him. Can my longsword reach two spaces? No. Okay, well, alright, fine. Um, no movement, so I go faster. Uh, let's just stay Is here. You want? Oh, come on. You could have done something there, can't you? Dragon could have done something. Okay, the armor knight's moving forward. Um, Let me heal ooh, that mage just went down. That is ominous. I'm gonna heal my healer, too. And also retreat maybe here? Um, <laughs> Roland died following orders. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that might have been my fault, but okay, okay, it, it was it was my fault. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> um, ugh, to cure the healer or to cure the guy whose literal survival makes or breaks this game. Uh, can Roland even attack from this location? Can he do anything? Or not Roland? Sorry, Roland is freaking dead. Uh, can Dragon attack from this location? Hmm. I think no. Okay, that's not good. I want to heal the healer. Yeah, you know what? Anyone else can really heal. Quarantine can heal. Okay, that's what that's what's gonna happen. Quarantine will heal Roland. Frick, I keep calling him Roland. Dragon. <laughs> Quarantine will heal Roland. Not Roland. <laughs> uh, Dragon. And uh, I will wait here and heal myself. Actually, I'll take a hit from. Oh, that's both archers. I don't want to take a hit from both archers. One archer is enough for me. I'm gonna heal. Oh, but you know, Sarah Noah is gonna be in a lot of trouble soon. Cure wounds. Well, it's fine because I'll, I'll definitely be taking out that archer behind him first. Um, and I do have a quietus. Or a quiet, quietus. Quiet, whatever that is. Um, can't provoke anyone else. Sprint isn't gonna do much. Let's start chipping away at number nine. And I'll wait here. I fight for peace. 
Um, fighting for peace is all well and good, um, but <laughs> sadly, <laughs> he lives on in memory. And after the battle, yeah. <laughs> but I do like the uh, fact that there's no permadeath in this game. I'll admit, that's pretty fun. Uh, Frederica cannot do anything. These mages are kind of not good. Yeah. Yeah, these mages, frick. Uh, you know, they just wait here. Um, you know, okay, I'll give, uh... I just type that. Oh, that's not a lot of damage. Wow, ice stones are kind of useless. Let's give an HP recovery pellet to, um... To Dragon, yeah. Hmm. For Many you! Thanks. We will make our ideal. <laughs> I leveled up for giving someone an HP pellet. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Such a save scummer. That's true. Um, I usually do save scum quite a lot, actually. Can people shoot over walls? I don't think so. Uh, well, either way, I do need to recast my wall, but I can't. Um, so instead, what'll I be doing? Pretty much nothing. Quarantine can do nothing on one bar. Uh, 9 and 13. Uh, they get to go first, which is sad. Yeah. Hmm. The Wall of Ice slowed him down, but not enough for me to do anything, and I want Quarantine to go again right after this. Uh, when does Quarantine go again? You know what I could do, is I could use my Quietus right now to block off 9 and 13. And give me some more time to fight all of these other guys. I don't think that's a good use of it, though. Yeah. Very sad. Uh, in Quarantine we trust- there you go. <laughs> now you've got it. <laughs> I, unfortunately, Quarantine has like no defense, so he's definitely gonna get killed sometime soon. <laughs> and then I'll have the dual Quarantine kill. But he does have ice resistance, actually, so maybe I should be putting him over here in the range of these archers. Ugh, I wish I had just one more charge on him. When does he go again? Scrolling, scrolling. Mm, 21. That's four moves ahead, which... I think puts me before number 18, which is, yeah, not useful at all. Okay, um... Well, I guess I'm just waiting. At least I can block off the healer. With my own body. <laughs> Are any of these guys ice guys? Mighty strike. No, they're just normal sorties. Hmm. Alas. Yeah, okay, at least these two bowmen are ice people. <laughs> Funny way to spell Anna. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay. We can trust in two people at once, right? That's allowed. I could also just give a healing item to Huette. She might need it. Um, and I'm definitely going to be casting blindness on... Uh, oh, actually, yeah, let's, let's block these people off with my own body. I think that's actually a fine move in this case, because at least that lands number 13 on ice if he tries to attack. Oh no, he's gonna go after Frederica. Ooh. Okay, let's protect Frederica. Um. Yeah, this is sad. This is very sad. Let's protect Frederica. Um, I guess I'm not gonna give this HP recovery pellet to Huet because I might need it later. So no action. Hopefully that'll make me go a little faster when my turn comes around again. There we go. Okay, we have our rooftop battle. Um, we have some more attacks. And we have people climbing down cliffs, which worries me. Okay, at least the archer is facing the other way now, so I can do some actual damage to him. Uh, let's iron dagger him twice, perhaps? Yeah, I should have taken the extra 5 damage on Anna, for sure. But at least I get to go a little faster now. Oh, actually, I can end this guy with a Quietus. I wonder if that's worth it. It might be worth it to use the Quietus on Anna, go twice, and then just kind of climb down with the rest of my movement. Ah, oh, man, do I want to use that? Hmm. Okay, who goes now, first of all? Benedict. Okay, Benedict is gonna need to heal Serenoa, like there's no, no question about that. And I think Eridor has lost his buffs, which is fine. Um, it's a good thing that number five is still raging. But I did want to kill that archer, and there's two healers over here. So this is not working. Oh, there's just one healer. This guy. Okay. I need Huet. That's what I need. Um, can Benedict attack up this area? Just for fun. For fundies? No, he can't. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the archer on the cliff because he's doing significant damage to my units. Um, so let's quiet us this. Okay. Oh, she gets to go next. Okay, that's fine. That's fine with me. Um, Benedict goes now. Benedict, you're gonna heal Saranoa. Large HP recovery pellet. Saranoa. Go. Um, he can also move. Uh, let's take a step down maybe right here. I expect 18 to die soon, so we still have three. We have 19 who's gonna aim at me, um, but that's probably fine. I want to be out of range of Oh, I can't be out of range of both archers. This really sucks. Okay, why not just wait here? Um, I hope three's rage doesn't end next turn. I think it does. <laughs> oh no. Um, I wonder if they get one more turn of rage or not. I guess we'll find out. And if I lose Benedict, it's not as much of a loss as it would have been for anyone else, I think. And Benedict can still buff people on top of cliffs, actually. So yeah, let's... Oh, I faced the wrong way. Ugh, okay, I hate it when that happens, but it's all right. All right, Sounds please right. kill. It's over. Yes. All right. Okay. So now I use my uh, the last of my move to climb down from this cliff. Stand here. Um, I will take some attacks with this, but that is all right for now. Okay, Siri. Good. Um. Curses. Oh, I've been poisoned. I did not notice that I had been poisoned. I could use this turn to remove my poison, but is it worth? Probably not. I need my mages over here, like, right now. Can Frederica make it all that way? Not very far. Um, what's Frederica's range? I think she can, actually. She might be able to get number 3 and 19, if 3 doesn't move. So, maybe I do heal myself with poison. How much damage does poison do? Not a lot, clearly, seeing as uh, Serenoa still has most of his health. So, maybe I do instead just talk dive uh, the guy in the corner. 10 uh, is pretty good. I can get rid of 19, um, but I really want to be going after 15 right now. Doesn't matter. From above. Okay. I missed? <laughs> what? Ah, that is insane. Very bad and also insane. <laughs> okay, um, so we've got our blind oh, guy. No. Oh, come on. He can hit and he's blind? You kidding me? You Don't underestimate me. Thank How's you, Dragon. I appreciate you. Have I ever told you how much I appreciate you, Dragon? Because I do. I really do. Um, okay, I can get some attacks on some people. Uh, this guy I can do a decent amount of damage to. What does Fell Swoop do? Do I have that? I do have it. What does it do? Physical damage to a single enemy, but it's like pretty powerful. Uh, oh, damn. It's like 10 extra damage? Yeah, 10 extra damage. That's pretty cool. Blind is terrible in this game. I thought it was good. <laughs> Why? <laughs> 50 damage to my healer. Are you kidding me? Okay, um, no, you know what? If, if that blind guy can, uh, okay, at least I can surround him. This guy's going next. Can he get, um, the healer? He can. It ain't a good life for Gila. Gila's gonna get surrounded very quick. So what I'm gonna do is surround Gila instead. Um, does it always proc on hit? Ah, uh, it's like 90% of a chance to proc the blinding effect. Um, yeah, which is just sad. Okay, uh, what is my next move here? Wait, come back. I want the numbers. Where'd the numbers go? Numbers? Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, quarantine at least gets to go kinda sorta next. It depends on where number two moves, and I'm assuming that he's gonna go after Frederica if I block off this specific space so that he can't get Gila. Um, which means I have a choice. I can either shoot number five. I cannot shoot number five. I can only shoot number 19. Alright, you know what? It's fine. Ah, victory is ours. I'm gonna lose some more people in this battle for sure, because I have not been playing. <gasps> ah, Quarantine, no! They know! They know my weakness! <laughs> <laughs> How could they? <laughs> ah. Okay, um... I can ice both of them. <laughs> uh, this is bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Alright, how far can I move? Not very far. Frederica, where do you get to go? She can go to that other step over there at least, so this is fine. I'm gonna do my, um, heal magic type damage. How much damage is that? Not a lot, as usual. Ugh. And I am leaving Dragon over there. 
which is quite bad. I want to kill off 17, but I really have no one here who can kill off 17. I might just have to sacrifice Quarantine. Uh, I don't want to sacrifice Quarantine. I love Quarantine. Um, yep, bad choices all around. Okay, well, I can finish off 14. And, you know, I can hope that Dragon is going to do all right against just 17 alone. So, yeah, let's um, stand here. Proc. Um, I see breath on both of these guys. Maybe start whittling down the damage. Can I actually... How much is this? That's a lot. Nine is pretty good. Um, <sighs> no, I'll never do it. You can't make me. <laughs> uh, I might be forced to, actually. I'm, I'm not healing uh, my good friend, Quarantine, actually. <laughs> to pay the ultimate sacrifice. You can't make me. I've already done this. <laughs> You had him die. He's literally died in every battle he's been a part of now because he was only a part of one battle before. <laughs> um, yeah, I can just really aim for number five. Um, maybe take him out with a gap move from... Oh, there's no one left here. And he's going to go next. And I don't want to move any of uh, you know our good friends on the bottom over here away. Actually, how far can these guys move? This is going to affect whether or not I should bring other people forward. Benedict can, for some reason, go all the way up onto that square. What can Anna do? Anna can move anywhere. Okay, yes. So what I'm going to be doing next is just standing right here, probably. Oh, wait. But number three, if, if they're smart, number three will move and cover this square. Um, break. He was the chosen one to die? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why must this game force me to make difficult decisions? Turns out it, it really wasn't in the story at all. It was just me having to kill Quarantine in every battle. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. No, no, no. You know what? I have to believe in myself and in Quarantine. Like, he's literally supposed to be resistant to, I don't know, a good amount of the damage here. Um, but he isn't. He isn't. Why? Um, okay. Okay, so. Um, Anna moving next would be nice, but I can't really guarantee that. So instead, Eridor will get to um, proc Rage on both 11 and 10. I will move Quarantine to this particular square and cast on 14 and... No, I'll leave 17 alive because he's only one man. And what can one man do alone? Nothing. Nothing. That is what... <laughs> the story is that Quarantine... Oh no. <laughs> Quarantine is the destined hero and no one can convince me otherwise. I've actually, um, so I draw as well. I've been working on this artwork of Frederica. Um, I might draw on stream sometime. I'll probably, maybe like if I die during a battle <laughs> and I don't feel like immediately restarting the battle, I'll just, you know, start drawing. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I've been working on this art of, uh, oh, see, look, he's silenced. He's, wait, he's silenced. Silence doesn't do anything against freaking, um, swordsman. This is useless. <laughs> Why? Why does life have to be like this? Okay, um, who have I got now? Is that Eridor? Okay, um, Eridor, right, yes. You stay right here and just rage on 9 and 10. That's your job. Provoke. Um, 10, specifically. Okay, um, I like how it can actually move for multiple people. That's quite nice. Okay, face forward, and we get ready. Does he do the thing? He doesn't do the thing! Alright, okay, Anna will kill number 7 on the next turn and then take cover, hopefully. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not enough strength. I'm not sure. I guess I'll find out. Okay, healer. Um, you have one shot, Mr. Healer. Uh, and by Mr. I mean Mrs. Uh, I need Huet, I think. I might have to sacrifice the healer just to heal Huet. Yeah, ugh. Well, you know what? These guys are just supposed to int on Dragon, right? Like, I kind of want them to just attack Dragon. That's the thing, so I can't- I still can't predict the enemy AI. It works definitely by a different system than, um, than Fire Emblems. <sighs> I- I might have to do it. Um, I might have to strengthen my skills of conviction by sacrificing Quarantine yet again. Uh, I don't want to do that. I love him. He's my boy. Okay, um... Hmm... Or I can blast 11 and 14. But you know what? I did want to get 8 and 7 if possible. Oh wait, I'm, I'm still on Gila's turn. I am thinking ahead. Should not be doing that. Okay, myself or Huet? Huet can heal herself, really. Um, she can also fly away. 
pretty far, actually. Yeah, actually, she can fly to, like, entirely safety if I really wanted to, so that's not worth... I really might just have to leave Corentin out in the open and get him killed on the next turn by 17. Um... <laughs> Corentin AU where he's the destined hero? Corentin is the destined hero. He's already the destined hero. You just... Yeah, like... Like, uh... <laughs> like Assyria said. <laughs> he's the destined hero, but his death stunned his potential. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Corentin's job is to study. And he's actually learning about death. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's not dark at all. Um, okay, let's heal the healer. Allow I me. need heals. And do I move or do I just wait so I can go faster? 10% uh, of my number of turns, right? Who's next? Scrolling all the way to Gila. She is at... 21, and she will get to go before 20, which absolutely makes no difference. Hmm. I might just stand here. Stand here and take the blow. Or stand by Quarantin. Wait, I can't do that, because I need Frederica to stand there. Uh, actually, no, Frederica can't stand there. Frederica has to stand here. Wait, this guy has ice arrows. No, he has poison arrows. Never mind. It's fine. <laughs> Nothing beats first-hand experience. Yeah, you know, in order to fully research medicine um, and magic, which is what he actually wants to research, he has to die a few times. That's just how life works. Uh, okay, all right, should I... Or, you know what, I could just use the healer to kill 11. Wait, didn't I end Gila's turn? Oh, I did, whoops. Yeah, I am once again thinking ahead of myself. <laughs> okay, standing here, uh, facing away. Yeah, facing away from the wall. Face away from the wall. I am moving. Okay, good. I fight for Frederica. Um, probably just take out 10 and maybe do a little damage on 13 while standing in view of the ice arrows. I think that's basically the only place I can go. Um, I don't want 4 to get me for sure. So, yeah. Listen, 17 is either gonna kill Frederica or Quarantin, and there's nothing- Oh, number 2 is existent. And he can move. Oh boy, he can move. Um... Hmm. I don't like that. Definitely don't like that. Oh, you know what? If number two stands on this specific square, I'm going to be really mad. But he might do it. So, but if he does, I'm still going to be really mad. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, like the square right next to number six. Okay. This is difficult. I can definitely take out ten and do some significant damage to thirteen. Uh, which, honestly, he's he's getting at Dragon, which is not good. Yeah, I might need Frederica as a Dragon sacrifice. So maybe keep her in this area. But she is, once again, the only one who can do mass amounts of damage to the people in this corner. Since I am giving up on quarantine. <laughs> Why? Why am I giving up on quarantine? Uh... Oh, you know what? Huet might get killed instead. And Quarantin will remain alive. That's true. I can actually put someone right here. I don't think Frederica can get one shot by um, by that archer in the corner, the number two archer. And honestly, if she does, that's a better uh, deal for Saranoa, who's kind of in danger. So let's me. do that. Let's stand this way. Um, oh, no. <laughs> yes! What now? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Quarantin survived! <laughs> oh, man. And the archer didn't move to the location I didn't want him to move to, so this is fine, actually. It's quite nice. Okay, um, I get one hit in here. Um, I do want to take cover still. Or do I... How many... I don't have any take covers left, do I? Yeah. So I'm gonna stand here, um, slap once, and then take cover. I think that's how take cover works. Does it get removed by doing damage? Oh, effect will be lost if you stand directly in front of a foe. Uh, not sure if this counts as directly in front of a foe. I think it doesn't, so... Hmm. Or maybe I should just stab twice and leave her. She'll have taken out one of the main enemies here. Can I get 19? Is 19? No, he's not gonna go down. Huh? <laughs> Pro tag luck. <laughs> what do you mean, boo? Excuse me, Asaria, how dare you? <laughs> I believe. Okay. Well, I've done the first hit at least. Um, yeah, looks like I can kill him. Um, might be beneficial. I should probably just kill him. Especially since uh, Benedict can go next, which means Benedict can now stand in front of the enemy. Let's do that. Let's open up the area. Wide open. What? Oh, someone missed. 
No. Uh, <laughs> Anna, why? I trusted in you. Okay, well, Benedict will have to kill um, the guy right in front of him on his... Can he do that? Oh man, if Benedict can't reach up there, I'm gonna be very sad. I don't think I can check. Yeah, I have no way of checking until I finish moving this turn of Anna. Ooh, okay, um... Oh, I'm gonna have to stand facing away like this, and I've definitely left Anna to get surrounded, which is very sad. Okay, I that guy's in the corner, that's best. fine. I have my mages over here. Okay, now the real... Can you attack? He can't attack! He cannot attack. This is sad. Anna might get killed. There's nothing I can do about that. Um... I can set... Oh, these, these guys get to go next. This is very sad because I need to kill him and I thought Anna could do it. Oh. Buff Anna, maybe? Or buff Saranoa? He's gonna take some damage. Mm. Let's stand back to back with Anna, but down here. Um, I'll give her a buff too. I'll give her a physical defense buff. Yeah, I think this is fine. <laughs> Trusting Anna was your first mistake. I clearly have two <laughs> I have two parties going on here. There's the Anna party and the quarantine party. <laughs> uh well actually someone missed. I don't remember if it was Eridor or if it was Anna. If someone wants to tell me, um, so that we know who to blame, <laughs> um, feel free. <laughs> Let's buff Anna and stand Let facing away. This is a bad move, but it's the only one I can make. Yeah, okay. Nice try. Eridor dodged! He made up for his mistake. Uh. Eridor, I believe in you again. Um, you're fine. You are my boy. Okay, Hawk Dive is kind of a waste on this guy, and hey, looks like I don't even have that available to me. So that's fine. Um, Longsword it is probably. I do want to charge up my points. So I don't want to use Delaying Strike, and this guy is still Rage, so it's okay. Um, <laughs> an Obedience Mechanic would get- There is actually um, a bit of an Obedience Mechanic. It, it's not really an Obedience Mechanic, but it's like, they call it Obedience um, in Radiant Dawn, one of the Fire Emblem games. So that exists. Okay, I'll face this way and stand there. Okay, we've got our Archers now. Um, Huet can probably take out 17, but do I want to do that? I think yeah. Yeah, I can proc some double attacks there. Definitely get him killed. Yeah, for sure. Um, honestly, I could stand- Oh wait, what's my accuracy on that? I didn't check, because I'm standing at a lower area. Um, 100% and 82%. Hmm. I think that's fine. <laughs> Anna may be a spy, but she is very faithful. Hey, she's served me pretty well, I'll admit. Okay, um, I'm definitely gonna do this, actually, because I want Eridor to take a step forward. Oh, wait, no, but can one of my mages move first? 12, 9. No, they can't. Um, who's- who do I have next that, you know, is on my team? Oh, I can't leave Dragon over here. <laughs> I've just left Dragon. That's kind of bad. If Dragon gets killed, this is all over. Okay, uh, I need Quarantine to survive. Like, just one more round, please. Because I need a mage over here. And Frederica's gonna go north. Frederica can actually get to Dragon. Never mind. Frederica I can use as a freaking meat shield. <laughs> That's my only choice here. Yeah, gonna stand out of... Ooh, that doesn't even put me out of range of the archers. Well, actually, if that archer comes after me, he's not coming after Quarantine. Which is a plus, in my opinion. So, let's go. You're open. Alright, um, we've got myself standing here. Let's face away from the back. If it's Perfect. a fight you want. Dragon retreating like a good man. Ooh, okay. So good thing I had some No, he got quarantined. <laughs> ah I hate this game. I hate this game so much. Uh I'm adding to my death count. Okay. One more death. Sad. <laughs> Why? Okay, fine, fine, fine. It's okay. I gotta believe in the rest of my units. And by that, I mean keep raging at people. Uh, but these two are bowmen, so it's actually not really worth raging at them. Um, I want to kite one. But I am currently not in a position to do so. Okay, best move probably is just to move forward. I'm gonna get hit by the bow. Um, hopefully that doesn't take me out entirely. I'll instead just use a recovery pellet, because Eridor needs that. Um... Large or small? Hmm. I can buy more. Uh. Large, yeah, I want to survive this. 
Cool heads shall prevail. Cool heads shall prevail. <laughs> you say that, but do you mean it? <laughs> okay, uh, healer's probably dead because I lost Quarantine and I needed him. And this 14 guy is very carefully blocking my entire pack. Honestly, um, if I do have to play this level again, I'm gonna play much faster because I know what I am gonna do. I'm gonna leave Eridor right here and bring all my units upwards. But I can't do that now, so alas, I am stuck. Uh, I can do absolutely no damage to this dude over here, or I can run away. Which is nice, actually. If I run right here, I do nothing. This is actually very useless. <laughs> I can do nothing with Gila on this turn. Um, 17, uh, 14, 13. Honestly, if I leave her here, she gets what, like, oh, I don't know if it rounds upwards or not. If the turn count rounds upwards and I leave her here without doing anything, I get 20% extra, um, you know, movement turns. Eh. <laughs> I just wanted to research magic, but I ended up dead twice. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a lot more than twice, trust me. The problem with making a unit like Quarantine Valib, um, actually, you know, fightable, usable, whatever, um, is that, <laughs> is that it's difficult. Uh, hmm, yeah, I should be healing people, but there's really no one I can heal at the moment who needs it, and, you know, Serenoa is all the way in this corner. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna retreat. And just use Gila as a shield that can heal herself. Yep. Yep, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's my strategy. <laughs> I can't even do anything now. Gosh, this sucks. Well, you know what? If I just wait here... Um, oh, but number two is gonna shoot me. Oh, this guy has uh, poison arrows. He's gonna poison Frederico on the next turn. Well, yeah, nothing else to do. This is fine. Bad strategies were made. Wow, Time he's just work. going after Serenoa. It's not gonna do you any good, you know? Alright, um, Anna gets to move. Anna can do two things, which means I can... Um, I can hit four once, maybe, even? Uh... That does nothing. Yeah, I really need Anna to be uh, surrounding people. I can heal Serenoa too. That might do more. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like how these two have layered up on each other. This is not good. Or, or, I could hit this healer who's been really bothering me with some poison. And then I could take cover. Actually, that's quite nice. That is quite nice. Let's poison the healer, and then take- I don't have enough gems to do all that, can I? Um, oh, I can. I have enough gems. Let's try that, let's try that. Okay, got that, and take cover. Okay, um, let's- uh, <laughs> There's no salt powered trucks in this game yet. <laughs> wait, 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 what just happened? Oh no. <laughs> Someone got a critical. Who was it? Was it this archer? Wait, no. Was it this archer? Uh, <laughs> I'll find out. Okay, um, who gets to move? Frederica. Okay, Frederica's actually in a good position here. Finally, finally, for once in the game. But she doesn't have the freaking slots necessary. Ah, okay, alright. Um, can Frederica survive for one extra turn? Find out next time on the hit game, Triangle Strategy. Where you don't strategize with any triangles whatsoever, actually. Instead, you just kind of wait and hope that the triangles don't murder you in your sleep. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get Dragon killed here if I wait too long. I'm gonna have to start bringing people back over, and that is not good for the rest of my, uh, turns. Ugh, this is bad. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is quite bad. So, okay, I know what I'm gonna do next time. I'm gonna kill these two, and then just hole up in the corner with Dragon. Because I didn't know that Dragon would be smart and come forward, but he does. So, oh, these people are weak to fire. But I can't use it yet! Uh, okay, you know what? Um, uh, ability to count, but this is actually useless. So I'm just gonna have to end my turn right here. At least I'll go faster. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm weak to 14 as well. Okay. This is the best I can do. It's bad, but it's the best I can do. <laughs> Serenoa won't move, right? Right? Hey, he missed. Okay. There is Luck no of the protagonist. The 
Okay, um, um, who do I buff? Who do I buff? Who do I buff? Raging Beast, um... Maybe I buff Frederica and use her next turn. Uh, I can also block off this area, which I think stops this guy from hitting Frederica, which is quite nice. So let's do that. Um, Raging Beast, Frederica, um, and then we wait for Frederica to survive, which oh, hopefully she does. Um, let's see if that actually does anything. It might not. <laughs> it's entirely fine. At this point, I am just trying my damn hardest. Oh, perfect. Let's surround 16. Uh, I get one attack of that, and then four gets me. That is less good than I wanted. Four is a mage. Four cannot do the double surrounding, actually. And you know what? I'm going to be taking that damage anyway, so I think now is the time to believe in myself and... Oh, wait. There's this healer up here that I now have access to. Um, this is probably better. Ah, oh, if only Anna was standing on the other side. But she isn't. Okay, that's okay. She gets to move at number eight. Um, so if I block off this area... Uh, ooh, number four is going to hit me and Anna. Yeah... And four might actually take us out, considering that I don't think we have too much um, in the way of any defense. Should I risk it all on number four? Who else gets to move first? Literally no one. What if I just stand here and then heal myself? He can't take us both out. Uh, Huet gets to move. Huet can heal someone. Huet can do things. Mm, oof. Yeah, bad, bad tactics all around here. No good moves. Okay, Huet can actually stand here and help me surround, uh... Oh no, I still get doubled. I don't want to get doubled. Ah, ah, this game. <laughs> and I, I want to take out this healer, of course, as fast as possible, because they're stopping me from getting everyone else done with. Yeah, I might just have to hawk dive um, and then wait for, uh... Wait for something to happen. And by something, I mean Anna. I did use my Quietus already, so I can't pull anyone else ahead in the turn order. So that means if number four kills me, I'm kind of screwed, and that was just a bad move. Serenoa being poisoned is a problem. But honestly, that guy can't do 62 damage, right? Like, that's not possible. Delaying strike. Yeah, okay. All right, I I'm going for it. I just... All strategies are good strategies. Whence this quarrel among friends? What happened? What happened oh no, did I trigger, a, like, a reinforcement or something? <laughs> No one said nothing about Wolf Fort showing up. You traitors! Don't underestimate me! Yes! Oh God. Dragon! I am your friend! <laughs> okay, um, I want number four dead. And I want Eridor to not get surrounded. So I might have to just park myself in the middle of all these enemies. I think that's basically the only thing I can do here is sacrifice Huet. Uh, yeah, using Huet's body as a wall. <laughs> um, she's on ice. That lowers accuracy, doesn't it? I have 100% accuracy. No, this is fine, actually. Um, hmm. Yeah, this mage is not gonna do much, huh? Uh, <laughs> um, what does the Reddit in your Twitch bio link to? Oh, it's just my uh, Reddit page. I Yeah, I don't really have any social media links set up completely. I think I, I have a Tumblr that I update every now and then with my art. Um, I have a Twitter that I've updated maybe twice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I need to do that. I need to like start updating my stuff. Haven't really done that yet. Um, yeah, I think this is the best move. I think just standing next to Eridor might actually be the best move here. Uh, and then I sacrifice Huet, yeah, for sure. Like, there's nothing I can do to stop that. This sword dude is gonna kill someone. And I hope it's not Dracon. <laughs> oh, gosh. I re actually, I really need to kill number three. You know what? Forget number four. Saranoa can take out uh, number four on the next turn. Yeah, three is important. Blinding arrow? You know, if I'm gonna rely on blinding arrow like once in this game, now has to be the time, right? Like, when else? When else am I gonna be able to rely on blinding arrow? Can I shoot him from all the way over here? I can't. I have to move one step up at least. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, you know what? Uh, number three is my, my no danger at the moment, because if Dragon dies, I die. And that's it. Okay, uh... Almost. What now? <laughs> Gila survived! <laughs> the whole world is made Let of- No, heal. the healer healed himself! Ah, Gosh, okay, um... I am stuck in this corner with nothing to do but whack people on the head with books. This is actually really bad playing, like I'm not even- I'm just- Oh! Oh, You're what now? Thank you. What now? <laughs> I can reach people. Okay, I can take cover, um, but that is not what I want to do because this healer is smart and moved away. Fortunately, 
By the time this healer can get all the way over here, I will have Saranoa moving again. Can anyone else kill Saranoa by the next turn? Number 5, maybe. But once again, I don't think number 5 will be able to take him out immediately, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna plan on this just killing this healer. Uh, let's Iron Dagger maybe uh, twice, and then just wait. Allow me. I think I still have to- oh, I don't have take cover because I acted. Ugh. Okay, you know what? If Anna dies, Anna dies. There's nothing I can do about that. Allow me. Yeah. Please donate for Anna. Nice! That is a good move. Okay, um, for me, I mean. <laughs> that is a good move for me. Um, let's not block off people here. Let's try to rage as many people as possible, actually. Provoke maybe four, and if I catch seven, two, then that would be nice. I can't do that, huh? Yeah, there's a height limit. Hmm, not a fan of these height limits. Well, provoking seven is enough for me, actually. So, oh, if I could stand behind him, that would be nice. I can't, though. Alright, this side is gonna have to do. Um, and then provoke. Seven, come, come at me, fools. Me. And, ooh, I do have to stand in a compromising direction in any way, I so this is fine. This. Okay, Frederica, what can you do now? Not much, honestly. I can scorch two people, but neither of them are the ones who are weak to fire. Um, so yes, indeed, hope has led to disappointment. <laughs> uh, this is the way of the world, indeed. Ugh, I'm doing no good here. Yeah, that's it. This is like a bad move. All of this is just a bad move. One bad move after the other. That's alright, I'm gonna keep playing fast. Yep, okay. Frederica's dead. That's another one to my death count. I shall try my level best. One to my death count. There we go. And that means I now get to add the numbers in. Total deaths. 11. Oh, it's the wrong color. It doesn't show up. Oh, well. I guess it'll just be skulls for now, then. <laughs> okay. Um, Benedict. Let's get some buffs on people. Um, probably Eridor, because I want him to survive this. Oh, wait. No. Um, let's... Yeah, let's smack people. Let's just literally just hit people. This is the best I can do. That seem to do the trick? I missed! Are you kidding me? I've had the worst luck here. Other than Corrington dodging once. <laughs> Curses. Okay. Uh, Sarah Noah, I am sorry. I am sacrificing you. Because I need this guy dead. Um... Everything turned down now since Corrington died. It did. It did, and I am not gonna blame... Actually, I am gonna blame Corrington. It. Actually, no, I'm not gonna blame Corrington for it. I believed in him and he did his best. Which is really all I can expect of anyone in this world, is for them to do their best. Okay, stand facing... Ooh, all directions are bad because Serenoa will be dying soon. Um, but yeah, I need to bring people over to this corner, like, ASAP. Um, Alright, uh, hopefully with this, Dragon can kill off these two enemies. I think that should be enough. Oh, you know what? It would be nice to know how much damage Dragon can do but I don't know that. So instead, I'm gonna have to rely on this, and I don't like relying on this. Okay, uh, you know what? I'll just- I'll stand here instead. I'll short bow this guy and not take the extra benefit, and then hope that Dragon can kill him, and honestly, I don't mind giving him the XP because I can just grind for it later if I need to. Yeah! Alright, and face away. If it's a Let's fight, go. I Very true. Yes! I will Believing in Dragon was the right answer. Okay, now we kill, um, this dude in the corner here, and we essentially just leave- Saranoa to get murdered by six and seven, which is um fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. You left yourself open. Oh, you know what I can do? I have two moves. I have two moves. Um, watch this. Watch this. Hold on. Uh, HP recovery palette. Take this. Will help. You live, Saranoa, for just a little bit longer. When did Gustadolf muster up such a force? But I know I am in the right. They will not take me so easily. Yes, Dynamite Man, I believe in you. <laughs> cool heads shall prevail. Okay, cool heads indeed, um, which means I will be healing someone. Uh, gonna stand here. Gonna heal... I can't reach anyone important, so you edit it. Take you. your extra 20 points. Okay. You live now because Anna has two turns. Okay, um, that's right. Eridor is still here, waiting patiently, and taking hits from practically everyone. Uh, hmm. 
not too useful, honestly. Especially since Armor Knights can't do this whole climbing thing. Do I provoke again? I can provoke the Battle Mage. That's kind of bad if I remember correctly. Yeah, actually, I want to waste this Battle Mage's turn. But I can't move far enough for that to actually happen. So instead, I will be standing right here and uh, just hitting this mage once. There is, once again, no better move, and it is not a good move, but hey, what? I oh, I can run away afterwards. <laughs> I guess that's not really a good move anyways. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I'll get killed. It's fine. I'm a fool. Ooh, critical. Ah, there goes Saranoa. He lasted a bit longer, at least. Okay, um... Benedict, not a lot of damage you can do here. Um, but I can buff people. So... Uh, and I can also stand here and take some extra moves, essentially. Let's just... Um, yeah, because like honestly, even if everyone else dies, I just need to keep Dragon alive, so it's fine. Uh, let's move, uh, let's just buff Let Dragon one more face. time, just in case this guy decides to go after him, and we'll face away. Okay, um, we've got Fury. Yeah, um... Oh, no. you pray, don't underestimate me. Okay, that guy's almost dead, which is nice. <sighs> we almost on. kill Eridor. Um, Huet can kill him, I think. And now I've finished that. So now we have Anna and Eridor in this corner, who are essentially all alone against a whole sea of enemies. Um, I can run and take cover with Anna though, so this is actually fine. In fact, what I'm gonna do is run right behind this archer, and then maybe hit him once, and then take cover. Do buffs stack? I don't think they do, and uh, also I don't really have anyone I can apply them to at the moment, so... Yeah. Okay, I can't stand on this specific spot, so mm, nothing I can do with that. Dragon, where are you going? Don't run anywhere. I need you. Um, but yeah, let's let's move out with Huet. Um, especially since I plan to do some damage with number four. Actually, can number four just waste his turn? No, he's gonna go after Eridor. Yeah, four will kill Eridor on the next turn, which is actually okay with me because I can move forward with Huet then and uh, maybe proc some double attacks from Anna. Yeah, that's the best I can do, and it's not good, but I will take it. Um, short bow, probably. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't risk um, missing that, so... Step forward. Oh, I don't want to lose Eridor. Is there any way I can save him? I can run up to Eridor and lose essentially all the movement I've gained, putting myself in range, and then just give him like a HP recovery potion. I think that's not a good idea, though. Ugh. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, Anna can't do much against these people alone. Okay, uh, yeah, the, I think I should prioritize surviving, although it will be difficult. This is getting real close, I agree. I don't have any of my good units left. I have essentially Dragon and a bunch of support, and Huet, who I have actually been building up for this very specific purpose. Um, so, good for her. <laughs> I, yeah, I might still lose this, which is pretty sad. Okay, um, I want Anna to survive no matter what, so take cover. But the question is, do I help Eridor in the process. I kind of just have to leave Eridor for dead unless he manages to like out of some sheer amazingness ditch this entire attack. Or you know what? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna heal Eridor and then take cover um, and hopefully just run away on the next turn. I hope that works. Take okay, take cover. You won't. All right, because I, I do need Eridor, now that I think about it. He's my only damage dealer. Okay. Um, Gila is dying, which is very not good. So yeah, the only thing I can do here is heal myself. With clear I have leveled up. I oh, I have haste. Oh, that is so useful. Oh, only I had that earlier. Are. All right, I have successfully wasted his turn. Um, can I beat up number four? Ah, oh, so close. I can't, though. I can provoke him, um, and I'm gonna take attacks from number two and number five. Oh, actually, number five might waste his turn. Unless he can attack Anna? I am actually not sure how that works. I'm not sure if you can attack someone who's undercover. Provoke. Kite shield. Ooh, the choices, the choices. Okay, if I stand here, I can at least get rid of number four on the next turn when Anna gets to move again. 
Oh, but number four is gonna move. What is he gonna do on the next turn? I have no idea. If I provoke him, I'll know, but then I won't do any damage and then he won't die. <laughs> oh, you know what? But he might die. He might still die on the next turn if he stays right there. But if he's smart, he'll move around to this square right in front of the archer, and then I won't be able to attack him. Standing here at least lets me not get crit by everyone. So let's retreat. Let's retreat towards the um, towards my people, um, and let us actually kite shield him. Uh, if he hits me, he hits me, and there's nothing I can do about that. But I will be facing away at least. Okay. Yep. There that's is no good. Mercy on the <laughs> there is no mercy on the battlefield. Thanks. <laughs> um. Buff Huet maybe. Oh, this is this is getting dicey. I kind of want to buff my own defenses, um, and by my own I mean Benedict. Ugh. I think I can definitely win this now, but uh, you know what, can I? I have Eridor at least. It all depends on what happens with Eridor on the next turn. If he dies, I'm kind of dead. So it would have been nice if I had one extra movement right here, <laughs> but I don't. So I do not um, get the chance to go all the way up here and buff Eridor or anything like that. Um, yeah, I guess. Ugh. I do need strength on Huet, because Huet will be doing some damage. So even if Benedict dies, at least I have this. Okay, face forward. Alright. Good, that is- oh, okay, but he did move. Okay, my take cover has been ruined, kind of. If I attack, I lose that. Uh, but I can apply it again. Ooh. Ooh, can I apply it again? Let's try this. This is the end. It's for life. I've leveled up. Perfect. I can apply it again. Let's freaking go. They do nothing now. They do nothing against my might. I've left myself in a very vulnerable position. But hopefully, um... Oh, you know what? The What's mages can still get me. Well, it's okay. Um, maybe let's block some people off. Get some... Ooh, that's a good amount of damage to that arrow guy over there. But I am going to get two attacks from that. Yeah, three has just been a freaking nuisance this whole time. Uh, but I have more attack now. Um... Ooh. <laughs> Shall I try the blinding arrow again? <laughs> you think they'll actually be blinded this time? <laughs> oh gosh, I freaking hope so. Um, oh, I don't want to put myself here. Oh, you know what? No, this mage has run out of spell slots. I'm fine. Okay, I'm gonna blind six. Because I get a critical on him, which is useful. Battle is won. Okay, hopefully that helps. Mage is gonna retreat, right? Um, he'll charge his spell slots and come back. I shall do what I yes, he missed. What now? Okay, um... <laughs> Blinding arrow works 100% of the time, 60% of the time. That is actually how this works. Alright, um, I'm gonna haste someone now. Oh, I can't. I can't haste anyone, because I'm literally just not in the space. I also want to collect these rewards. Is it beneficial to just send my healer away? Probably not. I can leave someone alive and do that, like this archer over here. I don't want to haste. I, I can't haste her gone. <laughs> Hasting Dragon is a bad idea, so instead I'll cure Benedict. My utmost thanks. Come right, you me. wait here. Eridor, you are the star of the show. Please remain alive. Um, honestly, I'm tempted to just use magic to- or use, you know, one of my- wait, do I even have any- I don't have any healing items left. It's- <laughs> okay, um, this is fine. Okay, both of these guys get to go first though, so I wanna- I wanna provoke them. Yeah. I'll be your shield! Leveled up! Right, let's go! Okay, stand here. Um, what you gonna do? You gonna move around? He missed! <laughs> Blindness worked! <laughs> let's go! Okay, um, Raging Beast, Bulwark. Um, I think... Let's, uh, let's increase... Ooh, I've already done attack, so let's do defense, maybe? Yeah, defense on Huet. I don't want Huet to die before she can use any of so the defense it is, I have leveled up. Perfect. Um, <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. I'm gonna face this way. Alright, I have the perfect move here to take out this guy. But it doesn't do a lot of damage. I can poison him. And it's actually fine because neither of these people can attack Anna, so I can do this twice. Uh, 68 to 51 is how much damage? That's 17? 17 minus 15, or 51 minus 17 is what, um, ooh, let's see, so that's 16, 50, uh, 34? Yeah. 34 is fine, and I can actually do 34 damage again on Anna's next turn, which is not gonna come up anytime soon. Maybe I just wanna poison him. 
poison once and then hit, and I'm giving up my take cover um, in the hopes that seven will miss me. I think that's all right. Okay, um, one more time. There's no healers left, right? Yeah, okay. There's no healers left. Have another. Have another. And I face in the direction that does not get me critted twice, I believe. Oh gosh, this is a bad idea. You traitors! Okay, Dragon is safe. The mage is charged up though, so I now have to worry about him again. Um, great. Perfect. Just fine. Whoa, look at that damage! Let's go! Okay, um... Can I take out the um, armor knight over there? Well, he's still furied, actually. I don't want to take him out. Can Eridor climb down this cliff? Eridor cannot climb down the cliff. Can Anna? Ooh, Anna can climb down the cliff. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. If Anna does not die from both of these archers, which is very likely, like she could very well die here, I probably should have taken cover when I had the chance. Oh, I couldn't have anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, if Anna doesn't die, I'll send her over here and go after this battle mage. Blinding the battle mage does nothing, I think. Well, let's actually... Oh, I can just kill this shield bearer, which helps me out a lot, because I get to then send Eridor over to help Anna by uh, beating up these people. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Actually. Wide open. I'll leave the mage. Shall we begin? Shall we begin? Um, we shall. In fact, I want you to use your body as a... Um, <laughs> as a meat shield. <laughs> Please get hit by the archer number two. Okay, that's fine. Come that's fine. Me. Okay, uh, now we're on to number two. Kite shield provoke sprint. Let's just kite him twice, because I don't think I can get anything done at a good angle here. Yeah, it would have been nice if I were in a, you know, proper location for this, but I'm really not. So instead, I'm just gonna have to stand here and kite him. Okay, um... Anna would be a world-class rock climber. <laughs> she got Isakite into door. Oh, man. <laughs> Wow, being isekai'd into orphanhood really sucks, honestly. Like, imagine getting transported to another world and then also your parents are killed. That sounds like the ultimate backstory. I'm trying to get this archer to move away. He missed! Did you see that? Blindness worked twice! That's amazing. Okay, Anna can move twice and murder this guy. That's what I'm gonna do. You know what? Screw taking cover. This is the time to take risks. Take risks, not cover. My new, uh, my new motto. <laughs> okay, I am poisoned here, which is quite bad does nothing. I can reach none of my allies. Wow. I can reach exactly zero of my allies. I can reach this one enemy, which also does nothing. Uh, okay, this mage is gonna hit both of us if I stand here, but I want to collect this little bag. Okay, what I'm gonna have to do actually is just leave the archer number six alive and have people... Oh no, I can't do that. Maybe I need to meet, leave the mage alive. I do need to leave the mage alive. I have to kill this archer first. Yep, sorry, nothing I can do here. Um, hmm. Wait, what do you mean the mage can hit all the way over there? Oh, there's no way. What the actual frick is this mage on? Is he doing drugs? What's his range? Weapon. Ah, come back. It's just one. What? How? How? How the heck? Oh, because I see Breath is range 4. I see. So he can, like, stand here and shoot all the way over there. Yeah, there's, there's no way he's gonna do that, though. I can take a hit. Maybe I just buff myself. With defense. Ah, not useful. Okay, no. Taking risks. Like a uh, wonderful teacher once said, take risks. Make mistakes, Battle get messy. Gone. I think I screwed that up. <laughs> okay, um, here we have Huet doing some amazing damage. Go Huet. Who is next in line to move? It is the healer. It is the healer. Um, healer Chan can do nothing at the moment. So I think I just stand here and take a hit from the archer if he decides to do so. Because honestly, I'm, I'm not missing out on this opportunity. This battle is won. This Don't battle is won. <laughs> Making some bold proclamations over there. Okay, Cure Wounds. Um, does Cure Wounds get rid of poison? It does not. <laughs> salt is one hell of a drug. I knew it. These guys are all on salt, aren't they? <laughs> okay, this is what I planned on doing. Um, but I am losing health with Anna over here, which is not good. Archer Man gets to go again before my healer, too. 
I don't have any healing items. Okay, I'm gonna stand here and then take cover like a <laughs> like a chump. I said I wouldn't do it, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, um, stay there. Stay there and wait your turn. Okay, Eridor, you are here to do stuff. Like punch people. It worked! Oh no, Dragon, wait, don't do that. Don't do that, Dragon. I need to collect the stuff. I, I want my spoils of war. Please don't kill him first. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I needed this. Okay, okay. I, you know, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give up on number three. Uh, oh no. Um, and buff Huet? No. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to give up on that specific spoil of war all the way over there. I don't know what it is, but it's not mine. Very sad. <laughs> You've been watching streams for two hours now. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad to know that I have provided a decent amount of entertainment, at least. That's actually quite nice. Thanks. It's a real good compliment. Uh, I'm honestly just super enjoying playing this game. <laughs> I love playing this game. I love chatting with you guys as you do it. Um, or as I play the game. How? Oh, gosh. How can I max my XP here while getting both the things? I kind of want Anna to get the kill, but I also want Eridor to pick up that thing. And if I let Eridor pick up the thing, then Dragon will get the kill. Can I, like, stop Dragon from hitting? I don't think I can. I think I have to let Dragon end the level. So my only other option is to cast Haste on, like, Gila or something. That's not gonna help. Um, on Huet, also not gonna help. Yeah, there's no way I can really pick that up. I have to stall until it's Eridor's turn and then just let uh, Eridor end the turn instead, I think. That's probably the only way I can do this. Um, yeah, I think I'll probably do that. Um, let's go. Uh, okay, okay, fine. Oh, I can still move. Um, I'm gonna mosey on out of here. Thank you. Uh, feels like a commentary. Yeah, I mean, what is a game for but to commentate? I will leave Benedict here. So that he gets hit by the archer. Oh wait, the archer can't hit him anyways. I will leave Benedict here so the archer can't move as far. There. Does that sound like good strategy? Not really, but it's fine. Okay, gotta pick up my loot, unfortunately. Gotta waste my turn on that. Okay, please don't kill anyone. Oh, if that had like one shot at Dragon, I would have been furious. <laughs> okay, let's gain some XP. Um, cure wounds. Okay, 4 XP is really not worth. Alright, and now I get to give Anna the kill as I thought. Let's go. It's almost quick time. Yeah, I wonder what this ominous event is. I am actually uh, quite curious myself. Alright. Results. Um, I got some kudos. I got some coin. I got some conviction. Good to know. Um... <laughs> Wait, there's a, there's a thing called uninvigorating spice? What is that? It's just like chili pepper or something? It's the opposite of salt. <laughs> Alright. We finished. We saved Dragon. Does he join my army? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Why Zesfrost attack in the Nice thought you was pretty on the wire at times. Thanks. No yeah, I definitely made some bad moves next. in the beginning. I think that's gonna be a running thing. Um sorry it had to be this way. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Isteria, why? Why must you do this to me? Why is Esfros attacking the mines? Are they gonna melt down their own forges next? Incomprehensible. The miners have all been slain. How? How did it come to this? Oh, they killed all the miners. That's why they were all assassins. Lord that Dagan, actually really sucks. You know something of this, do you not? You've nothing left to hide. Talk. Yeah, talk, Dragon. Come on. I underestimated him. I never thought he would go this far. What? No! You were supposed to join my army! I did all this work to save you! There are survivors. How dare you! Wait, that's that's the guy on the cliff. That is that is definitely the guy on the cliff. I killed you! I killed you, bro! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh gosh. Ugh. Oh, that's right, Huet. Assert yourself. <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, gosh. <laughs> Have I been clipped? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> ah, well, how could they do this to me? 
I want a dragon on my army. Uh no. Stay with me, Trigan. Be strong. You were so cute. You were so obsessed with salt. And now it is you throwing the salt. Forgive me. Had I but spoken the truth, it would not have come to this. I thought at last I could step out of their shadow. That I had the upper hand. Father. Father. Forgive me. world is happening we can do not to set this right my lord let us inform <laughs> the king at once <laughs> that foreshadowing <laughs> i have been hey, bamboozled i have been betrayed i have, I have been quite message. literally backstabbed um i am very much not a fan of that archer on the cliff over there i could have sworn anna killed him i really oh gosh Mm. <laughs> uh, still, that was a great plot twist. Oh man, after you went through all that work, ah uh, gosh. Yeah, wait, that's true. He it doesn't say what the secret thing is. <laughs> it must have been a crit. That's right, I kept him at full health. I put all the work in. I am very sad. Oh man, I liked him from the beginning. I was literally commenting at that one time when he was like drunk at the party. Um, I was like, oh man, this guy seems pretty cool. He's like the dynamite boy. Oh man, I'm gonna miss dynamite boy. I am definitely gonna miss dynamite boy. Shed a tear. Press F's in the chat. Uh, first for Quarantine, then for Dynamite Boy. <laughs> a Speak message for Prince Roland? White Home Castle is under attack, Your Highness. Oh! Oh! Tis the Esfrosty army. What in the... Oh, they are launching a full-on assault. It is Animal. a direct attack Tell here. What's going on? Yeah, I, I agree, Eridor. What the hell is going on? Control yourself. At any rate, we must confirm exactly what has happened. F's in the chat for Dagon. Agreed. <laughs> Let us return to the kingdom. Frederica, Here, I'll, I'll, I'll put an F in the chat. For you. I owe this to Dragon. I owe this to Dynabite Boy. <laughs> We've no time. I know. I am with you. Good on you for holding it together, Frederica. Good on you for not falling to pieces. Would this did not fall to you, but alas. See to it that Dragan receives a proper burial. Mm. Yes, and all the miners. Don't forget the miners. Yeah. They're all the dead army too. Has the crown city surrounded. Oh, okay. Things are getting fierce here. Oh, wow, wow. There's actually also a pool of blood next ah, to Dragon. Survivor. Like, you can literally see the graphic of a pool of blood. <laughs> I, I have not watched the clip, actually. Um, <laughs> you may have to describe it to me. <laughs> I will do so as soon as this... What the hell? Would you hold on. Stop killing people! Oh my gosh, can the S. Frosty just stop killing people for like five seconds? You literally... Oh. Is that Thalus? I think that's Thalus. There Thalus's. you are, Fair Dragan. Fair Dragan. That is... That is quite the description. What a pity that your dreams of being prime minister shall be nothing more than that. Tell me, does it pain you? It doesn't pain him, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lord Thallus, a word. The entire regiment of assassins have fallen as well. Oh, oh what here. now? Yeah, that's right, suckers. We can kill people and not suffer deaths ourselves because permadeath doesn't exist in this game. <laughs> it matters not, so long as the miners have been slaughtered. Oh, whoops. Good. Okay. Saves us the trouble of having to silence them. <laughs> Ten bucks, he's the villain. Believe it or not, um, I think his dad or older brother, I'm not sure who Gustadolf is, but there is a guy named Gustadolf who gives off but more Lord. villain vibes than this Thalus dude. He's like the king of S. Frost. He's basically Enough. one of the of bad guys, guys from it. Three Houses. Actually, My these guys look a lot like the bad guys did. from Three Houses. <laughs> and by bad guys, I actually mean best house. I'm just saying, Black Eagle's best house. Uh, dispose of our dead and be done with... Oh, is it his older brother? Yeah, it, it makes sense. It looks like the brother that they're speaking of here is Gustadolf. Aye, my lord. 
Shall we bury Lord Dragan as well? No. Leave him to rot. Or fill the belly of some mangy cur. Ooh. That is rude. I'm gonna kill you for that. I'll be back. I'll be back, I swear it. They're cold. Cold as ice. But not cold as iron. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, that was a bad pun. I'm sorry. Uh, but okay, looks like we have finished um, A New Dawn. So I will be probably ending right here after I save. Don't forget to save. Oh my gosh. Save. Save, 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 save. 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 Uh, what do I want to override? I'm not going all the way back to Chapter 2 no matter what happens. So Chapter 2 it is. Not on my first playthrough. If I had made some drastic mistake later, I'll probably consider it, but not now. Okay, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today, probably. Um, it's about 10, 11 where I am. Um, what, you don't wanna do that fight again? <laughs> Please, of course I wanna do that fight again. Maybe next time I'll be able to save Dragon. <laughs> oh man, I love that they have you go through a whole escort mission, um, like, you know, you know, carrying a green unit around, and then just kill him off. <laughs> that's that's insane strats. Um, but yeah, I took, um, I took three deaths which is more than usual, which is kind of sad, but still very, uh, very fun. <laughs> I'm enjoying this hard mode for sure. Um, and it's, it's honestly even better going into it blind. Usually when I play a Fire Emblem game, I'm kind of used to the mechanics. Like I'm like, okay, I can bait out the enemy here. I can use my tanks like this, so on and so forth. But triangle strategy, you know, the, the whole break and boost system, like the diamonds, um, and the, the fact that you have to like, you know, back attack people, it just adds a whole new dimension to it, which is amazing. I am enjoying it. So yeah, looking forward to the story, uh, looking forward to the attack on Whiteholm Castle, like they're definitely launching a freaking war. Imagine coming for a tournament and then two days later you're like, alright bro, we're starting a war, that's it. Um, but then again, I mean, the Olympics have happened during times of war in real life, so I can't complain about that. Uh, honestly, this is shaping up to be a great story. Uh, I can't wait to see me tackle it as well, I, I'm honestly, I can't wait to tackle it. Um, <laughs> So yeah, um, I'll be back, uh, I think tomorrow at like four, maybe a little earlier. Um, but yeah, hope to see y'all there. Um, yeah, uh, I think I'll probably have to end at six tomorrow though. Um, so maybe like two hours. I'll probably get through like part of chapter five. Yeah, we'll see. Um, and then maybe on Sunday I'll, I'll do more of this. Uh, Saturday I'm busy. But yeah, I'll be back. My schedule is posted. Um, thanks so much for showing up. Uh, I will watch the clip for sure. Thanks for making it. And I'll, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, no problem. Yeah, just if you feel like showing up, please do. It's always fun to have someone to comment with. And uh, I will see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>